Alright, so I just need a picture of I'm gonna copy this. Alrighty, so zoom in. Advertisements galore. Okay. We are in not all I'm sorry, what? Or uh, even in the... And I click my tentacle road. All right, so, well, we'll, ha yep, we'll, we'll, we'll have to edit it. Just give me a second. All right, so that is done. All right, there we are there. Tori. Insert the trinket. Action. Plus nine. I'm going to hit 1d6 bludgeoning. Wait, that tentacle VOD is so good. What the heck? That's... Yeah, I love it. it's, a, it's a rare. You guys traded in your rares. Constitution is a DC fifteen. All right. Okay, your tentacle rod should be good now. <clears throat> see you guys actually bring it. What'd you say? What magic items you guys pack in? Uh, a good amount. I sold my uh, bear because I want to go full on unstrikes. strikes. Um, so I have the cloak of protection, gauntlet of ogre powers, a shield plus one, two um, uncommon spell lot tattoos, and then an eldritch claw tattoo.
No, it's I'm taking the contact rope basically and the barrier for two. That thing is dope That's though. Three D six damage. Yeah. On the range of fifteen. No, it's one D six damage. Uh, but he can attack right. three no, times. No, no. Yeah. yeah. It takes three times. I know, yeah. but it's not 3d6, it's 1d6, and you just get to attack three times. Well, yeah, in total, 3d6, yeah. If you hit. Yeah, but it's a plus nine to hit. And? It's, it's got the best bonus out of all of us. Yeah, the fucking bone hits, hits the hardest. But also gets hit the hardest. I, I like to imagine the tentacle rod as, as snakes to fit yeah. the bar theme. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Boom, testing. Okay, that's good. Alright, so. <clears throat> everyone should, on their uh, game, click uh, bottom right. They should make everything private GM role. Everything. So. Yeah, that's mine's set to that. Just yep. like the, the little drop down, that should set up for everything, right? I just want to make sure that everyone has it set up, like ball and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Alright, uh, <clears throat> we're just getting used to that. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, so only y you and the the DM knows what's happening. Okay, so you should don't say like your damage rolls out loud. Yeah. Is. I, I fucked that up, but we'll just we'll, we'll, we'll get past it. All right, so um, my, this is the five year anniversary of Undermountain coming to a VTT. Uh, Undermountain was played uh, originally at conventions and my local favorite uh, FLGS favorite local game store, um, and I would just run it. Run them through, kill everyone, move on, roll, roll, run it, kill them, all that. And then uh, I ran a small campaign uh, just to get used to the uh, roll 20. And the campaign ran, <clears throat> it was a, like a pre-run, so I didn't have to really do anything. So the campaign ran for as long as I needed to make the original first map which was that black and white map that we used on roll 20 uh five years later we are here uh we have this nice fancy map that mark has helped make he creates the bare bones uh comes up with some great ideas and then i add on to that and we just make a great team and making things happen um so, five years here, and then, um, let's see, on top of that, I just want to double check a few things, or to commemorate that, I am running this, I'm just double checking something, I am running a monster map. Uh, Monster Mash was just something I promoted to have fun. And actually, most of the fun has come from Monster Mash, is actually. Uh, really, really appreciate a little G. So that's Kalugan. I gotta write these down. Thank you, Kalugan. Kalugan. No problem, For the, what is it, seven months now? Nice. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Monster Mash has created some of the most iconic, I don't know, groups that people haven't run into yet. Uh, we have uh, an encounter called Castle Lactose, which is an interesting section that actually helped me fill part of Undermountain. And then we also had uh, Scamp's Army. And Scamp's Army was another monster mash that happened, and uh, they now populate another section of this dungeon. 
So, yeah, it, it is a lot of fun. First time chat. What? So, it's just... <clears throat> it's been a, a, a good five years running it on Roll20. It's made it so much easier. I have so many more notes. We have so much more to do. Uh, we're actually almost done with level two. <laughs> Which I'm scared of. So, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. And when that door opens up, that's just going to open up a can of worms. <clears throat> Alright. So, the way monster mashes work are... <clears throat> all characters are experiments of Halister Blackcloak. All characters are what I considered... Uh, consider what I call monstrous races. Normally not, races not allowed uh, in normal runs for d d for Undermountain. And we get to try out new things, have fun. But the way you all form is uh, your, your cellmates, I guess. You, you have d separate cages uh, in this torture chamber which you're experimented on, tortured repeatedly for years. And um, when you figure that out, uh, that you're being experimented on, you lose the ability to speak common and gain the ability to speak infernal from the torture and the experimentation. So... Uh, you are going to be able to communicate with each other using Infernal, but you have lost the ability to speak Common, which is going to make for fun interactions in Undermountain. <clears throat> Two, um, when one day when you're being tortured, you're all led back to your cages. And, I mean, you've you've grown used to it. You've grown complacent with the... Day in, day out torture and experimentation. Uh, but you begin to, uh, a few of you begin to notice that he forgot uh, the little torture guy that brings you back is uh, a Nothic, which is this one eyed monster. And he failed to lock all of your cages. <clears throat> when uh, you. Like a few of you begin to realize that you, you actually open up your crates and you realize that you're free to walk in this cell room. There's no real way in or out except through this gate and this door that's always locked where you are taken to the main torture room. The when you finally escape. You find you you have like your your old possessions essentially. Uh, in a in like a storage locker next to your your uh, your your cage, and you open it up and it's like n pure nostalgia to you. Think everything feels like uh, when you first had it before you were captured and begun to be tortured on. And then you start hearing doors open and close, and a panicked Nothic. Uh, it's like, oh god, I've, I accidentally, I, I kept it unlocked, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And he screams as he's being like hit by the master. And as you all finally put all your gear on and do what you do to prep, uh, you notice that one of the portals on the left begins to glow and activate. And I'm going to just say Sargram's character, Varag, gets the idea, hey, let's escape. And he ushers you all to run. And you notice that there's, uh, it's like a mirror almost. And every, <clears throat> I would say, 30 seconds, a new image appears um, on the mirror. And you just watch it. It... it, it goes you see a room on fire you see this tentacled beast and then finally you see this nice relaxing room with a pool and Varag jumps through like telling you guys hey guys let's go 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 and he jumps through 
and you all just get the immediate fight or flight to follow and you jump through and it feels like your world comes tumbling around you you are tumbling around through what what i can best describe as the intro to doctor who you're just be tumbling through time and space and then you all land on the floor as so here i'm gonna go ahead and unpause the game now uh you tumble like a few of you uh and you all tumble in front of these weird statues on the other side of the pool. So, go ahead. Um, again, you guys have been tortured together for years. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll just go from there. Uh, we'll start with Bear McBug. Who is playing Bear McBug? Uh, you, hold on. Who is that? Oh, you are really quiet. I'm going to turn you up. How about now? That was good. Yep, that's better. Uh, Mr. Tickles, can you go and just give me your race class and subclass? Yeah, it's a bugbear, a fighter, and um, I believe it's battle. Oh, Master. are you turning yourself up? No. Well, I, I moved my face closer so I could read the screen. All right. It's like it was like gradually going up in volume. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, Battle Master Fighter. All right. That's uh, Bear McBug. Ball. Who's playing Ball? Um, that would be Kologan. Um, okay. Ball is a goblin, level three blood hunter lichen, level one barbarian. Okay. Sorry, I got weird background noise. What the heck is that coming from? There we go. It disappeared. It was weird. I just want to make sure we have no in-game. All right. <clears throat> So that's Ball Virag. Who's playing B Virag? Uh, that's uh, Sargram. Okay. Virag is a uh, orc, Path of the Beast barbarian. Alrighty. And then we have uh, the Great Bear Detective. Hi, uh, I'm Southwick. I'm playing the Great Bear Detective, and he is a ancestral guardian barbarian. All right. Who is playing Bojo? Me, Mecha. I'm playing Bojo, the uh, astral self monk, the bear dust crusader. <laughs> All right, and lastly, Z Zana. Hello, to me. Zana is a UNTD bard. All right. And so. Alrighty, so what all do you wish to do? Mm. You are all oh. in front of uh, a, a pair of statues on each, like, in front of each of uh, you. You both basically, when you stumble down, you, you finally, like, push yourself up and look up and you see two statues facing each and every one of you. We have what looks like, uh, we have what looks like, let's see, the way I had it was, uh, in front of, does anyone else hear that noise? Yeah, yeah, I can hear it as well. I can hear it. All right. We have Bear McBug as Red Jaguars in front of the Red Jaguar statues. We have Ball uh, in front of the Blue Barracuda statues. We have Varag in front of the Green Monkey statues. We have the Great Bear Detective in front of the Orange Iguana statues. 
We have Bojo in front of the purple parrot statues. And we have Zana in front of the silver snakes statues. Very fitting. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. Okay, Ball would sort of like... So Ball walk, uh, walks on all fours. Um, he would sort of scamper around, almost like do that dog thing where they would scratch their ear. But then he would, uh, when he got his stuff, he would have tied the chest he had around his back, and he would take it off of his back, and he would sort of just... So you said there was a pool in front of us? Yes, it uh, looks to be about three feet deep, maybe two and a half feet deep. Okay, so I would drown if I stepped into it. Um, <laughs> but So I would put, take everything out of the chest, that all my equipment, and I would just dump it all. I, I, my mind cannot handle having worldly possessions anymore after what happened to me. So anything that I would not use in combat is going away. All right, so you are dumping a holy symbol. Yeah, just start dumping. Close. Yeah, I'm just going to dump it all. M manacles, mess kit, mess kit. steel yes. mirror. Someone else want to grab the steel mirror and the manacles? They sound kind of useful. Uh, water skin, backpack, torches. I mean, I'll, take, I'll take the manacles. I mean, I'm a detective. I might need to arrest someone. You use the, the steel mirror to are going. look around corners. The oil's going. Uh, backpack gone. Then when I finally put everything in the water I don't want, I'm just gonna throw the chest into the water. Uh, and you so see the, the, the oil. And you see the chest sink. Yep. And then I'm just gonna chug both of my healing potions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I suppose you took damage from activating your ability actually. Yeah. Uh, so I just need that he healing. Okay, I'm back up. I'm back up. <laughs> Took the two. I'm back up from my two damage. Uh, and now, the healing potions are gone. All right. Uh, you're, you're gonna look so silly when we get to the <laughs> puzzle where we all need mess kits to get the potions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sharing my healing potions with you after you wasted two good ones. I haven't had a good healing potion in so long. Okay. Yeah, you were. You guys were never like healed with magic or anything you were you were just left to heal on your own but um, you you like you when you oh, took yeah. a basically when you took a long rest you were still like tortured with like sound and all that so you you weren't fully rested but yeah i'd like to go inspect this statue all right uh i'm keeping 10 feet oh, distance. Oh I'm, I'm, I'm using my quarter staff to yeah. have a little prod. Yeah, you, I mean, you touch the purple parrot statue, and it, it, it it's just a granite statue. That was anticlimactic. I'll walk away. Uh, I'm going to walk around, uh, and I'm going to bite this statue. What does it taste like? It tastes like stone and dust. It hasn't. Nobody's been in here for a long time. It seems like. Okay. Can, can the statues be taken off their pedestals? Uh, give me an investigation when you're close to it. And also, if somebody doesn't have headphones, I can hear myself echo in the background a little bit. Hmm. So go ahead and give me an in investigation. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it looks like all piece of one stone pedestal and statue, so. Direction do you guys want to head in once we're done investigating? I kind of want to just look at my statue, so I guess I'll... Can I crawl over the statues? Yeah, you can, cr you can crawl over the statues. Just give you a boost if you want. Like, <laughs> you can sit on my no. shoulders. I mean, these statues aren't pretty tall. They're about the size of, um, I would say, of Zana, because you're all bugbears. You're a little bit bigger. Uh, so I'm uh, just gonna stand on top of my Barracuda statue. As you stand on top of your Barracuda statue, you notice that the. Um, the, what, one of the fish mouths open up the one that you're standing on top of and out drops a blue piece of cloth 
almost. I'm jumping in the water. I'm going to grab it. I'm swimming. All right. So you jump into the water. You like belly flop into it. Uh, yeah. And it looks like you. It's just a strip of blue cloth that you could probably fashion into an armband. Ah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Or a so headband, it, since I'm or a goblin. yeah, I was gonna say since I'm a goblin, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a headband. Okay. I'll have a blue headband, and it'll like push down my ears a little bit, so they look more pointy outward instead of upward. I guess seeing um, Val get something from his statues, I go back to the orange iguana, and I'm... I just touch it. With the, as you keep... as yeah. you touch it with your hand. Uh, the mouth opens up, and you see a cloth drop out of it. Uh, it would Same be an, just an orange piece of cloth. Hey, uh, Detective, do you want to take my spots? I'll just keep him watched make sure um, I don't get um, And also, it, um, it's a muted orange. It's not like a, a fucking blaze hunter orange. It's pretty muted for all these colors. What does the other statue have? I touched that one. Uh, nothing. The second... Nothing, all right. Is its mouth open? I uh, no, it is not. Okay. All right, I take Don't a long draw of my cigar. I'm just like, huh, how about that? Uh, hmm. So which do it? Oh, wait, no, we're not in the room where we get tortured anymore. Sorry, what was that? It was pretty mumbled. I walk over to the snakes and catch them a little, and then talk a little, and uh, at this level, to them. Okay, statues don't do anything. Because I heard talk to them, I didn't... You're pretty muffled, I can't understand a little bit. I touch the, the um, owl statue. Alright, uh, you... You, uh, your purple parrot statue, the parrot's mouth opens up, and a purple cloth drops Ooh, out. I'll take, I'll take it. Um, I'll wear it as a second belt on top of my... I guess I have a third belt, actually, based on my picture. <laughs> Alright, so I got... Oh let me just double check. I got one, two... Pay no attention to the marks. So, do you guys think north or south? Or I guess there's this. Did you say, did you say this door was locked in the chat? I already tried. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a crowbar. I guess we could try and. Did someone said they had a portable ram. Uh, I have a portable. I have a portable ram. Um, I try and. Can I, I, I do like a locked first. door. Like, I do around. like smashing locked doors. <laughs> oh, we do have thieves' tools. Yeah, yeah. By the, by the bad. by the way, this door does not have a keyhole. Oh, it's oh. not a normal undermountain door. It, it it looks like a normal undermountain door, but this undermountain door does not have a keyhole. Okay, so I mean that sounds battering rammable. <laughs> But like, what if what if I just made myself bigger and then ripped the door off? That does sound battering rammable. It'd just take a while and be very loud. Yeah, we'll probably crowbar get... would be quieter, surely. Um, I I, I think louder is better. Yeah, it's it's just because I guess mechanically, I guess the battering ram is better for door breaking because you can get advantage from the second person. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think just go the way with Falcon the way. Yeah, I'm, I'll just say I was gonna go check the door at the bottom. Let's see if that one's locked. Oh, right. I see a room. Do you guys okay if we open the bottom door, or should we just keep going top? See if you can open the bottom door. Okay, it opens. Okay, I immediately okay. darted back round because I don't want to be there on my own. <laughs> Terrified <laughs> of potential rats. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, as you open the door, uh, it's like this musty, hasn't been opened in ages smell. 
nothing bad ever happens when we hit with that smell. What is it? Hey, Sargram, are oh. you with us? You haven't moved. Oh, there we go. Yep, I'm right. I see, like, a sarcophagus or, like, coffin thing? Correct. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to open it. Okay. I got the core stuff and the extra reach. We do. I'll use it like that. a 10-foot pole to prod the, the team. All right. So you, you poke it, and nothing seems to happen. How does it open? Does it look like it can open? Uh, you would have to be within five feet and investigate it. Ah, let's do it. I'm not very smart, but I'll, I'll attempt to look. All right. I'm oh. not going to touch it, though. So go ahead and give me that investigation. Yep. So, um, you know, you're like, have you ever seen Zoolander? Uh, yes. All right, I'm going to pause you because you keep moving. All right, so, um, you know when they go to get the computer and they say the files are in the computer, but they are not smart enough to open the computer to get the files? Yeah. And they start hitting it like Neanderthals. That's probably what Ball would do. Yeah. That, that he's like, eh. he's like, he's like grunting a little bit, like a monkey, a little bit, like smacking it, and just shrugs. I just okay. think I well, watch him struggle with my sixteen <laughs> passive investigation. Guys, it doesn't open. It doesn't open. Does the uh, esteemed great detective have a had opinion on this? Do I see that it can open or can't open? Just uh, again, you would have to again, you would have to be close and investigate it. Stand next to it. Uh, we'll try it loud. Here we go. If he finds out how to open it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. kick him. I, again, it it does not seem like it is openable at all. Okay. I'm running Let's away now. Leave this room. You know what, I'm gonna get, um, do we, does anyone have any iron spikes? I got a pit on, can we just jam this door shut so nothing comes out of it? <laughs> Probably, I think you just get them in, like, little kits. Uh, yeah. Um, I've got pit I'm pretty sure with, I, th I think you can lock a door with thieves doors. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can, yeah. like. If it has a keyhole, yes. Does this one is have a the keyhole? one on the bottom? No, it does not. Okay. Oh. Which way does the uh, door open? Like into the sarcophagus room or into the pool? Uh, it moves into the room. Now, which room? It, or into the sarcophagus room. Okay, okay. I could loop some rope around it and then hammer that down with a pitten so it's like port on our end. By the way, as it's you guys like... as you guys all leave the room, the door closes and you hear a click. Oh. Okay, so this is locked now. All right, let's just go then. Yeah. Ball is always going to be like 60 feet ahead because he's like a hyperactive dog and he's just going to be on all fours running. What's in this room, Tony? Oh, we're all quite sneaky, right, guys? Should we just roll some stealth checks? No. Yeah, I'm down for that. <laughs> he, he's pa he's panting checks. and running. Oh. He's like... I'm panting and running. Well, can we roll stealth checks? Yes. Yeah, we, we... <laughs> okay, Ball runs back cowering because he sees Ash on the floor and that scares him. He's going to hide behind Bear, Bear McBug. Also, is um, is uh, Zana Zana? Um, are they playing our theme theme music for us when combat starts? One. All right, Bojo needs his theme music. <laughs> uh... I'll play some like an you know some anime combat music, man. Yeah. I don't know. You might get copyright if you start playing roundabout. Yeah. Don't play. Don't play any music. It's more information. I meant in game as a bard rather than like down your mic. You could sing something. Yeah. Uh, so Ball is is gonna the, okay. Bear, uh, he's gonna hide behind. Who's the biggest person? Probably Verag. He's gonna hide behind Verag because he sees Ash. What's bigger, bugbear or orc? Uh, bugbears are like between six and seven foot, I believe, as standard. Really? I think, yeah, I think bugbears are a little bit bigger. It depends on, of course, like if. He was like a level twenty orc. He'd probably be a little bit more intimidating. Yeah, like I think 
Bugbears are bigger than half orcs. Orcs are bigger than bugbears. I think. So these yeah. look like old funeral pyres that have burnt for quite a while. Yet it, the wood. Yet the wood seems brand new. So on the inside, is that like gravel, dirt, or is it like stone? Uh, that that's all ash. Oh, I'm gonna dig through the ash. I thought you said you were afraid of ash. I'm afraid of the ash on the ground. But okay. now we have big people here, so it's not as scary. <laughs> okay. So you, like, dive in and... Yeah, like, head literally... first and just start scratching. All right. So you're covered, like, head to toe in the ashes of a dead whatever. <laughs> and you don't seem to find anything useful. Everything seems to be burnt, and it's just very fine ash. I'll take a big gulp of ash, and then I'll just... You know, get at all. I take my cigar and I treat one of the pies like an ashtray. <laughs> Said it was fresh wood though. What if it starts catching a light? <laughs> oh, there's more. Well, this is a big room. Um, I wonder if this is some kind of puzzle, maybe. Who would make a puzzle out of dead people? That's just messed up. I, I mean, just, someone was torturing us for a really long time. <laughs> eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this room just keeps going. Oh, pool. Oh, everyone dash. Cool. Didn't like that corridor. Sorry. Oh, some person is behind... So you guys are, like, running through as you finally get through all the funeral pyres. <clears throat> These look to be just clear water uh, pools, probably less than a foot deep or about a foot deep. These are benches, uh, standard standard height for a bench. That's a little too tall. Why is everything locked? God damn it! Um, <laughs> so it's was that one locked from both sides? Is that because that 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 should be like roughly where that one you tried earlier is, right? I don't know. Oh I don't have the intelligence to remember that. Yeah, that <laughs> probably goes back like... to the other one. Blocked. Um, What's this thing blocked? in the center of this middle one? Uh, that uh, looks to be that looks to be about a pillar. A pillar goes up, um, and there are tickles. Can you mute yourself and go to push talk, please? Thank you. Um, it it's a giant pillar and at the top it seems like there's four giant faces with red glowing eyes much like you saw in announcements announcements all the oh, oh, the oh that thing i uh, oh that piece of paper of the person who tortured us gave us like every day <laughs> uh I guess, can I try and climb the pillar? Yep, go ahead and give me, I mean, yeah, give me a straight athletics. Athletics. Oh, yeah, you, you like, literally bound, grab onto a nostril, and just throw yourself on top of the heads. Okay, what, and what are Immediately, the as that happens, the eyes light up and say, all participants must have an armband. Who's not got one? Uh, you guys look around and you okay, notice yeah. Virag yeah. and Bear does not have an armband. I guess I'd tie my, um, my piece of cloth around my arm. I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm going to make it... I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to fast forward. Virag, do you want to go back and get yours? It, yeah, sure. And Bear, do you want to go back and get yours? Yeah, sure, but before we go through, we need to hit some doors. Okay. Inspiration. Well, basically, I 
Sorry, you're really muffled again. I'm keeping on a drum roll for a big that is playing the map, so I give it to my body and start it. Uh, Got it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like really mumbled for me. I can barely m understand. He's giving me bodic inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Uh, take that. Um, what are the the red glowing eyes made out of? Uh, they're not made. They they look like normal granite stone, but like they glow. Hmm. Can I like poke them? Uh, as you reach in and poke it, the eyelid closes shut on your wrist. Ah. And I'm gonna you're... I'm gonna ask for it to let go. <laughs> and it you, that deep, just laugh like it's like a booming laugh, and then he lets you he he lets you your hand go. Okay. Yes, the statue does, is laughing at you. Does it have ears? I. Uh, no, it does not seem to have ears. Ah. Uh, because each, it's four, yeah. There, and it's four sides, so there's a face on the north side, west, east, and south side. All right, well, so. I'm just gonna, uh, oh. Verog and Bear, did you go back and get your armband? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Do the oars open work now? Let's see. On your way back, uh, you notice this first door has a keyhole now. Over here in the top right. Run over there. Okay. And the oh. door seems to open. Whoa, crazy. The other by, by the way, um, for simplistic sake, the uh, in the first room with the fountain, the right door right before, like the very in the very first room, did not have a keyhole still. Okay. Ball's just gonna insult the stone face, um, call him a smooth vein, and then climb down. All right. Uh, try the other door then. Okay. Whoa. So all the doors seem to open up. Uh, ball, you see what looks like. All right. As you run there, I need a dexterity saving throw. I'm eating. Yep. Uh, By the way, again, Mr. Tickles, please go to push to talk. There's a lot of background noise. Thank you. All right. Does it taste good? Uh, <clears throat> as you step uh, over it, you immediately see pinholes in the walls open up and you are hit with two darts for a total of six damage. Well, um... Seeing that, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hybrid transform, so it lasts for an hour. Okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna continue eating the body. Okay, they're old bones, so there's no meat on them. That's fine. I'm uh, chewing just, on a bone. will just dull yeah. my teeth. Yeah, he's just chewing on bones. You just watch him get hit on the side, see him transform a little bit, and he just continues to chew on the bone. I don't... Maybe we should go the other way, guys. I am... I'm just watching the feral goblin dog. I mean... Uh, okay, disrespectful. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna quiet the door and... Alright. Um... So you guys uh, close the door on him and he's... <laughs> <laughs> you can come back in now. <laughs> um, 
Uh, so what, what, what kind of trap were you just hit with? Was it darts? Darts, yeah. Uh, did we they're take the? They're blood still, like... they're still in the side of me, by the way. Yeah. Oh, do you, do you think there was more traps in there, or do you think you got hit with the only one? Do you want me to check? Uh, if okay, if you took the dodge action right, do you think that would help? So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run down the hallway real quick, just to right here. All right, one second. I need another dexterity saving throw. Oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you, uh, as you're like, like running and you, you like, sort of leap over the the next body, and you sort of like, as you leap in the air, you, you see the dart holes open up, and your body just twists. And you turn in the air, and the you just the darts just many like just miss you barely. By the way, did the first darts activate, or are they is it done now? Uh, they oh they did. That was the first one again. <laughs> Sweet second. Oh okay. Uh, so uh, second so, one. Second one. Another dexterity saving throw. Got it. All right. How many dirt traps are there? Because I just want to know how many dexterity saving throws I'm going to have to make. Uh, one, and one more. So, one more. five okay. damage here. Yep. And, again, miss it again on the uh, on the third one, where the, th three, the next pair of bodies are. These are just normal darts, right? Correct. So I can take half damage from them. Okay, perfect. Oh, let me... Put like and folk transformation in chat. Uh, hey, every everyone else, there's like this cool other door room that we can go to with doesn't involve yeah. darts and bone consumption. I was just going to say, if we go through the dart one, we should all take the dodge action so we get advantage on a saving throw, slash, they get disadvantage. I don't know, I can't remember. Um, I thought, I thought right. dodge was disadvantage on attacks only. Yeah, it's just attacks. It's, it's is not it just attacks? Though. Let me double check. Yeah. I feel like it is. And yeah, that would be far, that would that'd be, be ridiculously broken. Yeah. I mean, it uses your whole action, but uh, uh, well, see. what's in this room, by the way, Tynus? You open the door and you peek inside, and it looks completely barren. It looks completely clean, no dust, no nothing, but it looks completely barren. I'm gonna throw the bone in Dodge there. Does give you advantage on saving for dexterity saving for us. All right. Looking on roll oh. twenty right now. Sorry, yeah. um, that's cool. Have uh, you seen yeah. him activate any pressure like, files uh, or anything like that? Oh, like that's a good point. I could, could run back like a... through the hallway. Oh no! Please don't! Please don't! Just keep setting him <laughs> off and dying. <laughs> oh. Dodge action. Um, let's see. He's figuring out what happens when I throw the bone in the room. Oh no! Okay, no. Fair. Uh, it lands into the middle of the room, and nothing happens. Oh, okay. okay. Um. Can you see anything? It, does it just look like a dead end, then? Uh, or is there... It looks like it's just a dead end. Yeah, I guess it's not worth all of us. It's an oh, damn it! I was hoping there's a way to disable the traps or something, so you'd have a safer return. Nah, what if we guys, a baby. You know, we could just go around, right? Oh yeah, I just because obviously now balls on that side of the trap. Yeah, if you're gonna come back, take take the oh, action. Oh, <laughs> By the way, know, how how tall up are the dirt traps? Like, where are they coming from? Uh, the holes go from floor to ceiling. Ah, there's a lot of them. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take the dodge action and then use three dexterity saving throws. All right, yep. I open the door and I keep an eye out to see what he's stepping on. Right, okay. As he comes through the doorway. Uh, as you... Give me a perception. You can't really tell what's tripping the traps. I, I agree with Sansa, though. We should probably speak to the 
to the head. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here. Yo, reclining. freaky heads. Why don't we speak to the heads using the portable round? <laughs> that way they learn an important lesson about yeah. Smash. Sorry, Fritz. Drum performance. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you're rolling. I, I was, I was curious. Say that before you roll. Yeah, sorry. All right. So. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I want to make a drum performance be, before we talk to the head. So you're drumming. Drumming yes. and dancing. Drumming. Okay. Okay. Pulls out a bongo, starts banging on the drum. So what are and, and what? So what is everyone else doing? Talking to the head. Okay. It's uh, it, bo gonna... by the way, all of its eyes are closed. Oh, um, hey, Smooth Bane, how, how do we play this game? There's no response. I'm going to shoot it with my hand crossbow. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm going to move away the second I see someone pulling a weapon out. <laughs> Go behind, the hide behind this thing. Do so I... Do, yeah, do, yeah, they, do I they, the arrow... So, as you shoot the arrow, you notice a sort of like... Uh, a flare of energy happens in front of the face as you hit it. Like, literally, right in between the eyes. It seems like something shielded it from the arrow, and then the arrow just drops into the water. Okay. The oh, the, but... the, the arrow is fine. No, the arrow is fine. Oh, okay. Because it made no impact. Um, then... Uh, more doors. Yeah, strong no All right. Oh, god damn. Uh, All right. I, uh... The <laughs> moment... <laughs> Oh, hold on. This ball set enough a trap off. The moment ball opens the door, the eyes open, and the deep booming voice is like, "Pick a door, win a prize," and then the eyes close. Before it even finishes, before I just want to open the top door. Okay. It's a hallway. My favorite prize. Oh, okay. No one touch anything else. All right. He's so, locked out. So, and as he said, guys, everything, and then you just hear a boom. And I then. I chose to run. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it, pretty much, he just turned around. And was like, he's like, my favorite thing, an empty hallway. And then you just hear boom. And he's like, you, you literally just see Ball cringe a little bit. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> And then you, you, you hear this horrible grinding noise that seems to be getting closer and closer. Does it sound like something I can eat? Uh, no. Okay, I'm going to open the next door. Oh, sh oh my god! Jesus Christ! Alrighty! <laughs> yeah, it, immediately as the door opens up, like a piece of drool lands on your like your face as you, this thing roars at you. So that being I'm said... I'm gonna grin, because I can eat this. Right, Tynus? You could eat this. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna so go I'm on. assuming more one, initiative. Yeah, nope, give me one second, I gotta... So everyone oh, go to the not... combat tracker. And click on the die on the combat tracker. That's not very good. Alrighty. We're going to go ahead and start with Bear McBug. By the way, as you opened the other door, you hear a chuckle, a booming chuckle in the other room say, Someone got greedy. I'm going to open all the doors, you dumb fuckheads. Oh, no. We're all going <laughs> to die. Can we just shut the door and leave him in here? <laughs> all right. Bear is already in here. So, Bear moved in. 
What are you doing, Bert? Uh, stab him. Stab him from right there? Bugbear range. From bugbear range. So, you would have... What's your reach? It's a spear, and then he gets an extra five from being a bugbear. It's a halberd. With 15 feet. Yeah. 15 feet. <laughs> That's that's gonna be standard for a lot of us tonight. <laughs> yeah, once I when I actually activate reach. my monk right. ability, it's the same. All right, so you go ahead and you swing, and then I'm gonna use trip attack. Okay. Uh, Maneuvers trip when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority. So you're using a die. And I need uh, if the target is large or smaller, you must make a strength saving throw on a failed save. So strength. Uh, so you, you try to hook the leg, and it, it's like his leg doesn't even move. That's a bad monkey. Hey, at least you got the extra d6 damage. Alright. Check. Alright. Anything else from you, Bert? Somebody said something about extra damage. Is it what's that from? Oh, you use the superiority dice. You get to roll a d6 extra damage. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Did you hit? He hit. Ah. Oh, I just roll a dice again. Backslash R space 1d6. There you go. And then when you attack with these and you, before you do the damage, you click damage and then it asks for a prompt. You can add plus 1d6. All right. Anything else for you, Bear? Um, can I throw Caltrops in front of me with those? Uh, that would be bonus action. bonus action. Mr. Tickles. Thank you. Sorry, there's a lot of noise in the background. Um, so bonus action would be to pull the Caltrops out. The action would be to spread them. So you could pull the bag out. All right, uh, never mind then. I'm done. All right. Zana, your turn. I hear my friends making some noise over there, so I... Yep, sorry, you keep cutting in and out. Okay. I... Oh, a new pet. Let's keep him. I shout to the other guys and then I mock him. Okay, so vicious mocking. Yes. All I'm right. Do do. Eight. Go ahead and give me. Uh, click the damage. All right. Anything else for you, Zena? No, that's my turn. Bojo, your turn. Alright. I move the 20 odd feet to get to where Ben Bug is. Okay. And then, with the extra reach from being a bugbear, I hit with my quarter staff. Okay. So Does that hit? Yeah, that will hit. Cool. I'll roll the damage. I'm building it first tile because okay. I've got shield. Uh, that's the damage. Alrighty. And then, um, so I got forty feet movement. I move twenty, so I can move back over here. All right. And then that's my turn. It will take an attack of opportunity because you oh. moved out of its reach. I okay. I didn't realize it had. 
I didn't realize the reach was that big. It is a large creature. That makes sense. Does a 15 hit? No. All right. Anything else from you? Anything else from you? No more turn. Okay. Detective, your turn. All right, move in. One, two, three, five, and six. Am I 15 feet away from him? Yes, I am. Okay, I take out my pike. And I'm going to make an attack recklessly against him. Okay. That will indeed hit. Nice. Uh, his damage. Uh, what did I roll? I rolled an 8, so I'm going to keep that damage. Okay. Anything else for you? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, who has Bardic Inspiration? Ah, uh, that would be me. Okay. Uh... No, I just want to see how Baal does, so I'm just going to stay where I am if I do anything else. All right. So the Grillion takes his turn. I spit on it. Okay. So it It'll takes be its in five... my belly soon anyways. So it takes its five attacks on Baal. Yeah. I'm just going to say this. My AC is 21. First one hits for 10 damage. All right. Any of them hit? Uh, not, not the rest of them don't. Let's see. Plus one. Okay. I spit on it again. Got to tenderize the meat. Virag, you hear a commotion in the next room. Yeah, uh, I was just sitting here, my feet propped up on the edge of the pool. And I hear the I hear the stuff going down up there, so I walk up, and as I pass the uh, pillar, I rap gently with my knuckle on the dude's cheek, and I say, "I got your snot rag. Anything else you want to say?" <laughs> you got what? What did you say? I, I said I got I, I I got that snot rag you wanted. Anything else you want to say? <laughs> the the armband, the piece of cloth. <laughs> It doesn't say anything. It doesn't even open its eyes. Uh, so okay, I'll I'll be back later, and I start walking up here. All right, Ball, your turn. Fine. Okay. Um. So Ball is going to take the. He's gonna as an action take disengage. Okay. Um. One. Two, three, four. This is four, right? Yeah. And then as a bonus action, he's going to um, activate his Eldritch Claw tattoo, which I will post in chat. So now I have an extra, uh, my reach is now 15 feet, and I have an extra 1d6 damage on okay. uh, my attacks. And then I will cackle, smile at it, um, and then end my turn. Bear, McBug, your turn. I'm casting Polarm on it. Okay. Yes. Do you have the spell components? Yes. Okay. Alright, that will hit. I'm going to try to trip it again. Alrighty. So spending yet another superiority die. 
in such a confined space, I feel like we, if we trip it, it's going to like crack its head open. That will succeed. So go ahead and give me damage. Don't forget to add the... There we go. Oof. Is that nothing but ones? That is... Wow. It is a, it is a fortuitous roll. Amazing roll. Absolutely amazing. But I think he paid... I've got a great weapon master. Is Halberd a great weapon? It is. It's a pretty it cool is. weapon. I would call it great. Oh, is that... <laughs> you talking about the fighting style where you can reroll damages. So, hit hit the icon for great weapon master. So I'm just trying to find it. Should be under features. There we go. Can we get a leash for, for ball? I think I get to reroll both, don't I? You, it's in, I it would just reroll damage. Yeah. Right, so. That's better. Did the trip go off, by the way? It yes, it did. He did fall. Alrighty. Anything else for me, Bear? Uh, Bear moves one tile back. Oh, okay. Xana, what you doing? So, so it's lying on the ground now. Correct. I'm closer. Smack him with the tentacles. Yeah. Give him the slap. A plus nine. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna slap it. All right, you have disadvantage it's on the attack. It's a, it's a melee attack. It's yes, a melee attack. and you need to be within five feet in order for it to have yeah. advantage. I don't think that's a thing. Hold on. All right. Okay. It is. Yeah. Pro, prone is you have to basically be standing over it. Oh. So all your uh, right now all your your melee attacks with your your nice reachy arms. Or a disadvantage. Yeah. All right, that first one will so, hit. Do I have to hit three times with the three tentacles? Well, you have disadvantage on all of your attacks, yes. I don't think it's disadvantage. It's just it should just be strike. No, it's, dis nothing it's disadvantage. It's disadvantage. It's disadvantage. It's like a ranged attack, essentially. Yeah. All um, attacks within five feet have advantage. All attacks otherwise have disadvantage. Wow. Yeah. Really? I did. All right. I did. So yeah. give me damage on the first two and then give me critical damage on the third one. <laughs> he crit. On disadvantage. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Holy shit. I was going to say the big gorilla is going to have disadvantage unless it gets up, but it might be dead after this. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we not open the next door on this like set of three? Because okay, I'll open the bottom door. Yeah, I don't, I don't like. I feel like there's just going to be more bad things, right? Uh, <laughs> as long as we open them one at a time. As I whip it, I'm I'm shouting, "Sit, little A, sit." <laughs> it stops oh, moving. The truth. I'm gonna go eat it. Unless are we still in combat? I uh, know you're out of combat. I'm eating it. I'm in waste of rage. So, I didn't go into rage, so we're I good. think we should take a short rest so I can trip more people. Yeah, do we want to go just sit on the bench by the talking head and just wait an hour? I mean, why not? Let's see. Um, so. I'm going to chow down on the Gorillion now. Alright. Can we drag the Gorillion into the room and eat it during our short rest? Yeah, that would be like we can roast it. Yeah, yeah. this is good. We can take some wood from those those um pyres. I my snake tentacle road. We have to be more careful next time. 
All right, so that yeah. is a plus 183 experience. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, we're going to drag the Gorillion into the, the head room. All right. And eat it. Yeah. That's like a plan. All right, so you set up a fire in the mess kit? Yep. How much XP was that? It's written in chat. Oh, cool. Short vest. All right, I'm gonna roll. All right. So, who's cooking and who's taking the short rest? I'll take I watch. Can cook. I didn't do anything. I don't need. All right. To do anything. Oh, uh, they're taking here. rest. I will bet. Yes. I'm doing many here on my fingers. All right, so so you guys set up the fire uh, about 20 minutes to get a few pieces of wood, start the fire. Uh, by the way, when you guys do get the fire going, the wood does not seem to be taking any burn damage. Like, it's magic oh. wood. Ah. Oh. Tony's by but, the way, while I'm like taking my oh, continue. But uh, it does seem to be cooking the meat. Uh, I do need survival to start cutting off pieces of meat, you know, edible meat. Yeah, sure. So who's uh, gonna start slicing and dicing this thing up? I'll give it a whirl. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> you you pull you peel the skin back like perfectly. You, you like managed to get all the great pieces of meat. You got the breast meat. You got flank. You got a few legs. Yeah. You know, leg of Before lamb. There's there's leg Before of gorillion. I... <laughs> Before I was tortured for like years upon years, I was a chef in Skullport. <laughs> uh, Tynus, I'm gonna look at the, the statue head. My body can switch again. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Who are you using it on, Fitz? Oh, and, and just re re-clicked it because the last time it somehow didn't uh, subtract the use. Uh, and okay. you get it back on the long rest. So I want to counter that right. All right, so what's going on? We all the statue done? heads? No, I have some. I'm going to look at the statue heads, and okay. I'm going to look at the door we just went into. And while looking at that door, I'm going to take my headband off. Does it close? Yes, it does. Okay, I'm going to put it back on. Okay, I, I was just, I just wanted to know. That's, that's an interesting, I, I guess, right, as a ploy, right, if we need to come back here and rest, we will take our headbands off, so they all <laughs> shut. But now we need to see if the Gavillion respawned. No, we're not opening that door again. I'm going to go open the door. Well, the I door just... was open. We at least finished up. Like, like, short rest. Yeah. 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 The short rest is done. Okay. Nice. Have you, nice. okay. Have you healed well? <laughs> yeah, have you rolled your hit die? Yeah. You might need okay, it. Okay, cool. Nice. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If she hollers, let her go. Why? Uh oh. I choose you. Okay. Turn as I open the bottom door. Okay. Oh. Door opens. You didn't pause yeah, it. Right. That means it must be fine. Okay, there's a hallway. Do I open the no the next door? No. Uh, can we can we investigate yeah, this okay. thing first and then? I okay. know, but then we might get ambushed by someone coming out of that door. Yeah. Oh, also, oh, yeah, oh, we I should mean... check the top door. By the way, the as you as you guys are waiting, you hear another loud boom and then a grinding noise. I don't like that corridor. I don't even. That door's getting closed. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, wasn't the whole point of this? It was like a pick a prize thing. So yeah, like, but fuck this I feel like you can get all the prizes. Right? But, but they weren't, right? I feel like there's one prize and everything else is, is a trick. <laughs> so boom could be a prize. I like that quote right there. Boom means a prize. <laughs> Dude, it could be like fireworks. Did anyone look around I this room? On, on, oh, no. yeah. No, no one looked and at it. All right. Hold on. Is that two, two, hold on. Time out. Time out. Oh, sorry. 
Fritz, what are you saying? Because you're always muffled and mumbled. Oh, sorry. I, I try to to talk to Baal that he stays close to me, and I try to um, help myself with the um, friend's cantrip. I cast it on him, so he likes me more. Baal's going to do a quick sit and then, uh, and then pant. I take so, and then I pet you on your head. All right. So, Sargram, go ahead and give me a roll for your investigation. Okay. The room seems pretty clean and devoid. I, I mean, if a Grillion has been in here forever, there's, there's no sign of it, like, shitting anywhere, shedding hair even. It's, it's pretty clean. What if we try knocking on the the door we didn't open? Because then at least if it's an intelligent creature, maybe we can communicate with it. Um, idea. That's not a bad idea. Who's the most charismatic? Zana. <laughs> Who do you want me to talk? Yeah, we can Just make knock, a monster knock on, buddy. Knock on the door on the bottom, the one we didn't open. Uh. Don't open it. Just knock. No, no. Oh no, no, oh. no, no, no. Don't, no, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, sorry. Door closes Zana, no. as soon as Zana comes in. There is a loud hissing noise as the room fills with smoke. I'm just gonna. Uh, Ball's gonna keep scratching at the door. Okay. Uh, Ball um. doesn't. I move back and try to open the door. Okay. You you hear, like try you you hear the frantic trying to get out, as the room fills with smoke. Uh, is it got a kind of? I'm walking through the top hallway. Um. I'll use my crowbar to try and help get the door open. And then, Zana, the door opens to the south. Oh. Oh. Because I don't know that, though. I'm going to carry on. Yeah. <laughs> Crowbarring. Uh, well, I, I um, peek guys. In the next room. Okay. Can I get the door open? Take this quick peek. You, you you jam it under, but it's going to take some work. Yeah, you, go ahead and take a peek. There seem to be vents on both sides of the, the room. So, in the hallway is smoke, and the room is also smoke? Correct. Or... Okay, well... I'm going to assume that he lied to us. somehow different? Sorry, say that again? Do I feel strange or different? No. Feel any effect of the, any effect of the smoke? You, you see, feel nothing. Door closes behind you. And you see oh. the door open up. Okay, I'm gonna follow. Wait, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Does anything happen when I follow? Yep. Cool. Room fills with smoke. Zana, you're actually lo loving it because it feels like steam. Feels humid and. Sweaty. Yep. And then the door opens up. Oh, okay. I'll shout to the guys. It's like an airlock. I'm hoping. If I get can like... Hear? Yeah, can you guys... Can they hear me? Or... Yeah, they can hear. Okay, cool. So I step through and then... Does Dark... it do what it did for Zana? Dark oh, hello, closes. Hello. Alright. Uh, I look at Bear. Hi right there, strong bottle. man. And I go through next. 
All right. About a minute later, door opens up. Hey, shout. Bah, come, here, come over here. Come, good boy. It's pretty muffled for Ball to hear it. Ball's not the smartest. Um, Ball really wants to know what's in the top hallway. Okay. You've, you've peeked in the hallway. It doesn't see anything. You, you keep hearing the grinding, and it's rather loud now. Okay. Um, Give me one second. Do I need to make a dexterity saving throw? One. No, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Do I see anything? Nope, not yet. Peek and go back. Okay. Um, Nothing? What about... Nothing. Are the other guys coming? Okay, well, that's 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 boring. Are they going with Bob? Uh, we're waiting for you to go south. <sighs> this door is so tempting. Oh, hold on. No. Bear, you went into the room. Door closes immediately behind you. And a few seconds later, it opens up. Or a, few, a minute later, door opens up. So, do you go back through to the south, or? No, I'll just follow all the other people. Then... All right. Virag, door closes. Then door opens. Let's wait for the others. I tell you, Bojo. I'm going to take my headband off. Okay. Nothing seems to happen. Okay, I'm going to put it back on. Uh, I guess I'll go through with the group. Okay. Hi, group. Hi. As soon as everyone oh, oh. is in the room, the door opens up. Okay. Uh, you see a uh, ten foot high room, giant stone throne in the center of the room. Um, I was going to tell Ball to sit on the throne because he's a really cool dude. Um, before I do that, these vents, can I pick them up? Like, can, is there a ventilation system I could crawl into? No. It is, it's just like a stone grate. Okay. Uh, well, I guess I'll sit on the throne. Okay. Nothing seems to be happening. Okay, well, you know, Ball's seen this in, in, his, in his imaginary movies he makes up while getting tortured. He's going to bang once on the right side of the throne. Then he's going to tap the hidden button under his left pinky toe. And then he's going to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb six times. <laughs> so you guys hear this horrible rendition of Mary Had a Little Lamb coming from a goblin. Mind you, it's in Infernal because you no longer have common, yeah. So it sounds even worse. And nothing Does anything happens. happen? Nope. Okay. Well, you know, this is just... It's a... It, it, it's a flawed chair. Should we uh, explore further? Yeah, why not? Ooh. Uh, is that a sink? Yes, that is indeed a sink. And it Wait. also is indeed what looks like to be a privy. Excuse Boss. me, guys. The um, gorilla has not agreed with me. How dare you? I cooked that thing perfect. <laughs> I, I, I have very sensitive stuff. He has a gorillion intolerance. <laughs> yeah. It's the fur. It's just a <laughs> reaction. Hey, Ball, I oh. bet there's treasure in the privy. Um, so, so, yeah, can I use the privy? <laughs> so, Bo, like, Bojo's, like, trying to shoo you out of it. It's like, guys, I can't go while you're watching. <laughs> um, are these scraps of paper? Yeah, uh, no, I need those. I need those. Those are scraps of paper on the toilet. This looks like a cloth. <laughs> this looks like a cloth towel, and it looks like there's also a bar of soap. Guys, don't I'm touch gonna... that. 
I need to clean my hands after I <laughs> do number two. Bear grabs okay. the soap. No! My soap! I grab the Boss. toilet paper. No! Boss gonna sit on the throne again. Well, I, I can't I can't come with you guys now. Take, take I'm gonna sit on the toilet take until you guys burn my, my toilet paper. I, right. I do a little dance in front of Bar. Alright, so Bojo does his business. Um, is there a bidet? Because no, apparently but... they've taken all the toilet paper. You have two belts. Use one of the belts. Nobody, no, oh. so, hold up. Nobody moved to the toilet to take the toilet paper. So okay, they... so I have the paper still. Yeah, okay. it's right there. Okay, I wipe. Is it oh, a flush God. toilet or? No, it, it is. Just it, a pit. It's a drop down pit, but it's not a darkness pit. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'll wipe. Give me one second. Dude, this is like in Australia when like spiders come out of your toilet. Oh no, you guys have all left me to my doom. <laughs> you, you, guys... you didn't want us there. <laughs> he sat down on the mimic toilet, didn't he? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not our fault you're a nervous pooper. This mimics into some weird shit because it didn't like change when he started. It waited for him to finish. It waited, yeah. Is that how it yeah. feeds? Isn't it oh, no. shit? Wait, no, 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 I don't like this. What, was it spiders? Was it the... Monk shit, get out he's of up there with spider uncomfortableness. All right, Bojo. Could I get an initiative from you? You can. All right, so you're on the toilet. <clears throat> you're you're starting to like you're finishing up you're you you're starting to wipe and you just see two flashes of light. Appear in the room. Okay. And, um... and and you see these creatures. These creatures look like brains with giant claws, about the size of your claws, honestly. Oh, uh, that's one of the uh, last things I could have pictured appearing in the toilet or the bathroom. Uh, okay, wait, let me get the measuring stick out. Okay, five feet to the sink, 10 feet to the door, 15 feet. Yeah, just I wash think your hands. Can I wash, wash my hands as a bonus action? <laughs> <laughs> well, bonus <laughs> action is turn on the sink. Is it my item interaction? The item interaction, or the interaction would be to wash the hands. Okay, so bonus action to turn it on. Item interaction to wash my hands. Okay, it's bonus action. So I move five feet. Oh, um, hold on, hold on. Hmm? So you know, but you, but I, you were wiping, so wouldn't that be the Oh, am I mid-wipe still? Yeah, you're mid-wipe, so you gotta finish wiping. I'm gonna scream for help Dad, first. Okay. By, by the way, when you did, like, shoo them out, you did put the latch on the door because you want a privacy and you want them to barge in. Okay, but I can like un I can see the latch. Yes, you can see the latch. It's what okay. it's like. It's like what you know, just a simple latch, not like one of okay. those. Like yeah, you're, don't you're, touch the don't touch the door if you have okay, dirty hands. So like, if my item interaction is to wipe, I guess, or bonus action to wipe. I'm a civilized man. I only wipe with the one hand. So, I get my quarter staff out on the other hand. I'm gonna have to like. Unlatch it. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to run and unlatch and let you guys in. Cause and and, not, and not only that, like you got, you got pants around your ankles. Oh, so I'm just I like, <laughs> I'm gonna fight pantsless. Like I'm just gonna have to like slip out of these. Uh, okay, so not using my dirty hand because I'm not a savage. I run to the door. Okay. I unlatch it. Okay. What does that use up? That, so we'll just say movement, half your movement to move, uh, pants around the ankles, you, you shimmy on over, and then, because uh, you're midwipe, so I would say that's everything. You got, yeah, I would say that's everything. You unlatched it, and you yelled for help. Uh, Okay. If that's everything, then I guess that's my turn. Okay, give me one second. 
So you just heard help. Let's see. Give me one second. This guy's going to go. You hear just quick padding. And it claws at Bojo. Bojo does a 20 hit. Yeah, 20 does hit. Oof. For six. six. Cool. Uh, do you oh, have a brain? Yes. Uh, some <laughs> some question it, but I so think I go, do. go ahead and uh, click on your token, and then give me that DC twelve d intelligence. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yes. the and then the other yes. one comes in. Does an eighteen hit? Oh god damn it! Yeah, just. One by one. Oh wait, oh. he has advantage. I forgot. Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's just that one. Oh, do they have like pack tactics or something. Oh, they're flanking you. Oh, flanking you. Oof. It's gonna be ten. Cool, and then another saving throw, I guess. Yep. yep. Oh, okay. Rip. So, da 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 da, or take. Alright, not too bad. Okay. And now I've rolled this. <laughs> What's your intelligence score? Eight. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Yeah, okay, I'm on zero. That score is reduced to zero. Target is then stunned until you regain at least one point of intelligence. Can I borrow the circle of intelligence, please? <laughs> uh, we'll get to that later. I mean, like, after, like, because that will unstun me. I have less of that's, a, that's a good point, actually. Uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, good. Good. Give, me, give me one second. Let's see. What is attunement, though? Initiation. Yeah, yeah, he would have to okay, so you guys heard help. And now add you. Everyone else rolled initiative. By the way, Midget, you're a dick for getting him while he's on the toilet. <laughs> Wait, was that? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I, I just... thought that was an actual encounter. Yeah, that's just foul. <laughs> <laughs> That was like the worst. He's like, that's so foul because I get nothing to do on my turn because I have to use uh, all my action. I mean, all right, honest, you, you didn't have to wash your hands. He didn't. He did, didn't. He didn't. I just got to all he my deals. Oh, always the door. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like like he he, he he's like shimmying over to, to the toilet because he's he wanted to wipe. Was the biggest problem. Is, if I hadn't won initiative, I got top initiative. I'd just be dead within a locked room if I hadn't won that initiative. All right, ball. Yeah. You heard help, and then you heard a thud. Well, that doesn't sound like my problem. <laughs> in the toilet, <laughs> it sounds like somebody <laughs> fell in. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna judge people on how they use the toilet, so. All right. Uh, but that's yeah, ball. Gonna... Bear, you heard help and then a thud. Wait, but I, I do want to do something. I do. I do want to do something. Okay. I'm gonna use my enlarge reduce tattoo because I don't fit the throne and I want to. Okay, so you enlarge to large. A medium sized creature. Okay. No, I'm <clears throat> I'm small, so now I'm a, a medium sized creature. And now I fit a tiny bit better. Still a little big. All right, enlarge. Yeah, I took the tattoo away. 5e, which means enlarge. Enlarge, yada, yada, yada. 
You have advantage on strength checks. How long does the large last? Up to one minute. Oh god. So, what? Kalugan. Yeah. How well do you say Ball could concentrate? Like, this this is obviously an ADHD creature, right? Oh yeah. Um, in a few turns he will be small again. Probably okay. next turn. Yeah. <laughs> I just he's I gonna just, get distracted. I just I just wanted to be sure because it's concentration for up to a minute. I'm like going, given Ball's character. He's got a good, like, 15 seconds, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's like, ooh, look, a butterfly. <laughs> All right, creature yada yada yada. Okay. I just wanted to double check. All right. So, Bear, what you doing? Use your words. There we go. Try to open the door. All right. Go ahead. And you see these brain looking creatures seem to be prodding Bojo a little bit. They're like poking at him. Like, is he dead? Uh, stab the, uh, cast Halberd on the creatures. Cast Halbridge on the creature. Uh, which one, left or right? Uh, right one. Right one. All right, casting Halberd. That will indeed hit. Oof. That will indeed hurt a lot. Uh, then I'm going to move back. All right. It will take an attack of opportunity against you. Well, no. No, it can't. Nope. We're good. Anything else for you, Bear? That's all. Frog. You just see this little brain-looking creature. Do I? I'm way back here. Uh, you you know you got two bugbears in a way. Give me a perception at disadvantage. You saw Ball enlarge, so he's like a medium creature your now. Size. He's he's like your size now. He's pretty big for a goblin. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I, I figure the the uh, two bugbears down there can help him wipe without having to even enter <laughs> the room. So I'm, I'm just gonna. All right, Sana, what are you doing? So I also, so I have to check if, if I see the brain. Well, you got two, yeah, you got two big creatures in the way, so. Yeah, give me a disadvantage, why not? Yeah, you definitely saw Ball, your friend, enlarge. What you doing? I move closer, I move closer to Ball and pet him. Now the boy. <laughs> Alrighty, moving on. Detective, what you doing? Uh, I'm gonna recklessly attack the uh, devourer on the right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Advantage. Uh, does a 14 hit? It does. Oh, thank God. Alright, ah, uh, does damage. Uh, nine. I'm going to re-roll that using the pierce to feet. Okay. So, click on that. Once per turn, I should be able to re-roll damage if it does piercing. And click this again to re-roll it. So, okay. Max damage. Fifteen. Alrighty. You, uh, the brain, you just literally go straight through the brain and you got a little bit, like you have to shake it to get off the, the Weapon, the okay. pike. And can I technically see the second one? Because it's kind of like a not really, angle. not really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just, I just say, oh, hey, Zana, Bojo probably needs some healing. I just uh, remain where I am. 
Bojo is unconscious, incapacitated. Just double checking, because I want to know. What I can this still is. speak falteringly, but that's the only thing I can do. Yeah, sorry, sorry, mate. This might be it for you. Target is stunned. It regains at least until. Yep. So, so what are you doing, Bojo? Uh, Zero intelligence, Bojo. Need more brain. Need more brain. <laughs> Give me brain. <laughs> Necklace. <laughs> Brain necklace. I did, I did tell Zana, so hopefully she... Alright. Uh, Bojo! I mean, I can't do anything besides <laughs> mumble need more brain. Wait, are you... You're not incapacitated, never mind. No, but no, the stun means stunned, I can't is. move. Stunned makes you incapacitated. So I can't yeah. take actions, reactions. Oh, so move. you are considered incapacitated. Yeah, I can't take yeah. actions or reactions. All right. The only thing I can do is literally speak falteringly, unfortunately. Unless uh, uh, I've got something that's like a, like a free action. So I need an intelligence check from you. Okay. Um, oh, wait, don't minus I have five. zero intelligence now? Yeah. Yes, it's a minus five. Um, Are you inspired? Yeah? I thought I, I, I thought it was ball. Oh no, yeah, it might have been ball actually. And that yeah, was ball. Yeah, ball. Yeah. That's gone now. Alright. Um is this a ability check? It, it, yep, it's an ability check, not a saving throw. Yep. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I used my last two brain cells. <laughs> Just rub them together as best as you could. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna reveal this one to you. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> All right. You. And you guys really couldn't see the second one either. Oh God. Ah, this is it. Well, it's, uh... oh, it's very fitting. A bugbear with an intellect devourer in his brain. That's on. That's on point for Under Mountain. <laughs> All right. That's um. So, Bojo or Southwick, you are now playing an intellect devourer inside of Bojo. Okay. While inside the creature, the intellect has total cover. Yeah, blah, blah, because they didn't see anything happen. Do so, I still get my class features? So, hold on. I'm just double checking. It otherwise adopts the target statistics. It knows everything the creature knew, including spells and languages. Oh, that's cool. Um, but what does the intellect of Owl even want? It's if the host body dies, it must leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada. Intellect is forced out when it gains. It's forced out if the target regains its devoured brain. <laughs> it can voluntarily leave the body. Excellent. Excellent. Hold up. Hold up. Now we got to th figure this out. So. Uh, Tarnus, um, I, I think you meant to, to send that to someone else. Oh. He sent it to Meerkat, maybe. He sent it to Southwark. No, who's... Uh, I haven't read, I haven't who's, read the message Who's yet. Bojo? South, uh, Meerkat is, not Southwark. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to ignore the message until like, after the session. I deleted it. <laughs> nah, fair enough. Alright, so Meerkat... All of a sudden, Bojo becomes this, like, high intelligence <laughs> phenom. I'm like, uh, damn! If you was an intellect or are you just too smart? <laughs> does, he, does he look fine now? Because, like, I walk over there and try to check on him if he needs healing. 
Give me one second. I'm just double checking. Checking. All right, Bojo finally comes to. It's, it's, it's all right, guys. Oh, thank you for killing it. This thing, it tried to eat my brain. That would have been really bad. Okay, I, I, just, I will now go wash, wash your, my hands. Please, go wash your hands, please. Yeah, please just wash your disgusting hands. So what do you do? I wash my hands. I will not okay. hear you if you have bloody hands. So you use your soap, you wash your hands. Anything else? Um, the toilet didn't have a flush or anything, did it? No. Nope. So we're done in here. Um, oh, I'll pull my pants back up. I. Didn't specify that, but I would like to specify that I have pulled them up now. Okay, okay. Um, so you shake your hands and then you just head on up? Yeah, um. I might need a, like a, a rest, guys. I'm pretty banged up. That thing viciously mauled me while I was trying to take a, a, a doozy. It wasn't good. Okay. So I, is there nothing I, I'm left in this down. passage? Um. But I didn't, like, investigate the toilet much. You guys are welcome to have a look at that. I kind of want to leave the, the yeah, torture toilet. I don't, don't want to look at your business, so I'll have yeah. to By the way, you notice that all of the doors are now open. Okay. That so we don't have to go through the, the airlock thing. Down Sorry, you're talking, Fritz. You, to... you start over, and yeah. Bojo, uh, and Bojo oh, no, whoa, 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 time out. <laughs> When you talk, don't don't like go super close to the mic because then it just peaks the mic and we can't hear anything. Sorry. Okay. So I, I look Ojo deep in the eye and ask him if he needs a healing touch. Like Jenny. Oh yes, please. Lay my hand on his. So much. <laughs> Heal me. Okay. So Ball, did you close these doors? I forgot. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, I closed them a while back. Um, but since it seems like there's no way to go down there, eh, fuck it. So, so no, I, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, as as the healing goes off, <laughs> you 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 hear another door open. Opening doors is starting to become my favorite thing, Tynus. <laughs> and immediately go, what the hell is that? <laughs> so I guess it's a spider human. So, uh, we, uh, so everyone oh, go God. ahead and give me initiative. <laughs> we'll get the healing. I can't actually see how much it was if it's been rolled. Wait, is that thing wielding a weapon? Uh, yes, it is. Hold on. Uh, healing revealed to everyone. <clears throat> oh, my six healing. Uh, and then... So, Bojo, next time you take a shit, we're going to be in the room. <laughs> we need a bloody system, guys, okay? Yeah. This, these toilets aren't safe. All right. So, everyone also gains 75 experience. Nice. Uh, 183 plus 75. Alright. Uh, 258. So. Virag, you immediately see a door open and Goblin 
the goblin open the door and immediately go, what the hell is that? Um, also, as soon as that happens, I just cower and my size reduces. <laughs> okay. So, Virag, what are you doing? Um, well, Steve. I think I can move to there. Maybe there. Okay. Oh, there's a. Uh, there's something else in that uh, door. You guys want to might. You guys might want to get up here. Yeah, I'm working on that. And yes, it is wielding a sword. All right. Ball, you see it crawl onto the ceiling. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is unfair. How tall is the ceiling? Ten feet. I, I pull a yellow coat out. Foul. <laughs> and then uh, drops down right next to you. Okay, that's okay. It, okay. It's not too much. And then takes three swings with its long sword. Oh, sweet okay, Jesus. Before you say if anything hits, don't do. I want to look at something real quick. Uh, you can do all the attacks, just don't tell me if any of them hit. Okay. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's not a reaction, it's a bonus action. Continue. Um. Okay, so like, a few of a few of them hit. Yeah, just a, just a few hit. We still have crit decks, right? Yep. Oh, great, great. Um. <gasps> oh no. Wait, I have a question. If it matches your AC, it hits, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Oh no. <clears throat> decapitation again or something. No, it's worse. Oh. What's worse than decapitation? This one's called missing digits. Not my fingers. Normal damage. Yeah. And then target loses 1d3 fingers. I have my other fingers. He lost his middle finger. No! That's my favorite finger! <laughs> okay. That's not too bad. What's the normal damage? So, 8 damage for the first attack. Yep. 10 damage for the second attack. Yep. And... Because you're not raging right now, so you take full. No, I don't. I'm in my lichen form, which means I take half. The lichen form was... It lasts an hour. Okay, so it takes an hour. And I get it back on a... Sh yeah. But you took your short rest. Yeah, I get it back on a short rest. Yeah, you... Oh, yeah, give me a sec. Why half? Okay, we're good. Okay, I, I just, I'm like, yeah, you you haven't said you've, because you've rested. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're good. so, and then I need to go to your character sheet. Yeah, I'm missing a digit. No, no, it's worse than that. What? So I'm going to do, do. If you want arm stuff, right, you could use your feet. I can use my other hand. That's a, yeah. I kick him with clawed foot. Oh, yeah, I can use my... Oh, I don't have... I Yeah, I could use my feet. And then... Attributes, let's see. Oh, that's no problem. But... I want to see... Ernest, what's happening? Nothing, don't worry about it. Oh, 
All right. A finger? Damage for losing my favorite finger. All right. Whoa. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but... Yeah, it's... The finger just on the floor now. Yep, it's no. it is. Let's get some I'm ice. Gonna... Let's put in some ice. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. I have an idea. Xana, your turn. You have no idea what's going on right now. So now, but now I can see it, right? Yes. And it will have half cover. All right, I. I'll give it just a plus two, yeah, just a plus two. <laughs> God, just get plus two. All right. And I see Paul on the ground, and he's hurting. He's right? not on the ground. He's he's no, still I'm there. No, I'm not on the ground. I ain't on the ground. I oh, ain't. I ain't standing. no bitch. Okay, so I use my unsettling word words. Hey, you big head, move your black number else. So many words. Okay, it reaches. Let's see, as a bonus action, use a bonus duration <clears throat> in front of you. So you need to roll hit damage. Alright. And then I mock it. <clears throat> okay. Uh unsettling words, is that uh that's an action. Alright, so yeah. It's bonus action. And it's not a spell. It's not a spell, it's a body okay. it's okay. a use of body inspiration. He's fine. All right, so that's Zana. Okay, so am I actively I bleeding, and that's why? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take um, my flaming hand, and I'm just going to cauterize <coughs> it. Your what? My flaming hand, my crimson right. Okay. Doesn't go away until a long rest, so. Oh, it did all day. Um, so I'm just going to cauterize my hand to stop the bleeding. Okay. Is that an action or a bonus action? That's going to be an action. Okay. Um, and then bonus action, I'm going to... Picking something up, that's an action? That Picking something up or pulling something out is a bonus action. Okay, so I will not worry about my finger. I can get it back later. I'm going to bonus action disengage. And one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is it, wait, is it half movement to close the door? Uh, no, it's an action. Okay, then yeah, I'm just running. And I'm going to end my, wait. How do you Give bonus action? Um, because I'm a goblin. Okay. Uh, slash, uh, give me a sec, I have to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, wait, no, I didn't like in foot form yet. Never mind, I'm good. <laughs> I'm done. I finished my turn. Alright. Just checking something. Oh, at least now I'm not bleeding. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's see. So that's that. <clears throat> Bear, what you doing? Uh, move over because uh, people are shouting. Uh, um, uh, 
one sec. 30 feet. One, two, three, so wait, wait, you you were around the corner, right? Uh, yeah, but I didn't do it. So a one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, and then one, two, oh, wait. Oh, it's too far. Uh, I'm gonna um, just uh, sit there with the pointy spear and say, uh, um, a bow, uh, good looking there. Alrighty. Bojo! What you doing, Bojo? I guess I'm gonna... Where am I? I'm down here. Let me just see how much movement I've got. I've got 40. Uh, I can think I can just get in range. Let me move myself up. Um, Wait, hold on. Let me check One, that was full too. Yeah, you you should be right next to Virag. Oh, okay, cool. And then get the ruler out. Ah, she's fifteen feet away. Um, in which case, I'll just throw a dart. Okay. Um, don't think that's gonna happen. He, he, yeah, he swings it. He, he literally backs it aside with his sword. Um, I, I, I am. Um, when we lost all our languages, we still kept our other ones, right? Just, you, just no, no, common. you just lost common and gained infernal. I think I speak Elvish, so um, I will apologize in Elvish. Okay. And that's my turn. Detective, what you doing? Uh, okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, I threw a javelin at this, uh, is that a dude or a woman? That's a dude. Driders yeah. are males merged with human, or with spiders. If I threw a javelin at this guy, he gets cover, right? He gets cover because of the two bugbears in front, or the orc and the bugbear in front of you. Okay, I would like to uh, take a long draw of my cigar and use a bonus action to go into a rage. Okay. As I do so, the smoke from the cigar kind of emanates my arms and it goes into my javelin, which I'm going to hurl at this guy. Okay. I presume an eight misses. Correct. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, I tried. Virag, what you doing? All right. Can you click on that rage button for me, detective? No, uh, sure. Hold on. Uh, features. And consumed. Okay. All right, I'm going to enter a rage. Okay. Come up here. Okay. And attempt to grapple. All righty. See, one second. Rage gives advantage on strength related, right? Yeah. Cool. Are you kidding me? Uh, you do you do not beat the cont the contest. All right. And you can understand why. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> All right. All right, so you're raging. Yep. You did that. It's its turn. Just 
double checking something. Ah, fuck it. It cast darkness. It <laughs> Alrighty, that's that's its action. So pretty much, Zena, you can't see into the darkness. Bojo, you can't see out of the darkness. You hear things going on? Like can they hear this like scuffling and whatever noises? Yep. Bars, <laughs> <those> things. <laughs> All right, Zana, your turn. I, I see the darkness pop up and I reach into a pouch and say it's glitter time and then I cast fairy fire. Okay. You can't see where you're aiming it is the problem. I, I basically throw it into the darkness. Okay, so what... what, what? Throw uh, it... won't that, wait, won't that give it an advantage in not attacking us? Yeah, but you can see because no, you can no, you cannot. I oh, okay. don't think it'll counter magical darkness. No, nothing. It does not ca counter magical darkness. A torch in magical darkness will not l show light. Just like All fairy right, fire. Okay. So you fairy fired into the darkness. Are you gonna? Actually, can... uh, but you know, wait, wait. Non-magical light can't illuminate it, so I guess magical light can. Yeah, uh, but then you're giving it advantage to attack us. Yeah, because of fairy fire. I guess the light spell. And not only bad. that, it also like so you you say you threw it in, like like you did. Yeah. It's like you're gonna you're not gonna be able to still see. So you throw it right there. Boom. You still can't see yeah. through the next five feet of the darkness. So for me, it's still darkness. For you, it's still darkness. For the Drider, it's still darkness. These guys can all see each other and are now on fire if they fail their DC saving throw. Yeah. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah, this is a bad move. Why are they so, on fire? So everyone in... Everyone in the... There you go. Sorry, what's the save? It's DC it's right 13. there. It's Just click it's the on your token and click D, saving throw DC 13. Sorry, I mean like which attribute? Again, yeah. click on your token and if you click the button, it does it automatically for you. And it's... Hey, yep. Uh... If any of this spell's area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level, level or lower, the spell that created the light is dispelled. Would that dispel the fairy fire? Fair. The fairy third paragraph on darkness. If... Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's dispelled. Because darkness is like... Yeah, I, I don't know if... That's only oh. when the darkness is initially cast or not, but yeah. 
I don't know. No, we're good. So that doesn't matter. <clears throat> That's Xana's turn. Ball. And I move up until I touch someone. Like yep, you bumped in the ball. ball. Ball, what you doing? Kalugan, you there? Uh, yeah, my mic was just muted. I'm sorry. Uh, I can get Wasso Ashinovation to after combat, so... I'm gonna move... There's not really anything I can do, so... I'm gonna move out of the darkness and just stand in the corner of the room until the darkness goes away. Alrighty. Bear, what you doing? Uh, I'm going to uh, help my dear friend Ball in the corner. <laughs> oh God! Bojo, what are you take doing? The other corner. Shit. <sighs> let me let me do some measuring. You gotta make some room for me. Sorry. Yeah, I, I. I. I don't gotta see. Let's just get through the darkness, and we can worry about it later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'll take the disengage action, and I'm just gonna sprint forty-three feet in a straight line. Okay. Um, tell you what, as, as I was, because I've just realized, it's a bonus action for my astral self. So when I'm here, so it's, it's in range, I activate that and it does a little bit of damage. Well, they have to make a save. I'll post, put the, the, the stuff in the chat. So can you see that? They've got, the dryad has to make a save. Uh, Summoning my glowy arms. I'm just double checking something. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, it's not super high save. All right, so that goes off. Astros. Oh, did they? Oh, you're just reading for it. Yeah. They made their save. Yeah, cool. So I don't think they take any damage then. Um, I'll just continue to the other end of the room. Okay. Detective, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, last I saw this thing was right in front of me, so I'm going to move forward. One, two, three, four. Oh, hi, Barrel. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I, I'll go a bit further into the room, so I'll go one, two, just to spread out, and I will make a pike attack recklessly at the strider. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I, I take another whiff of my cigar, smoke kind of emanates around my pike. 24. That will hit. Alright. Uh, I will roll damage. Alright. Uh, I will keep that damage. And he is now uh, marked by my ancestral guardians. So I'll just put that into the chat. So I think that's the thing I have. There we go. So yeah, the smoke coming off my pipe kind of emanates into these. It has disadvantage on any attack roll that isn't against you. So, all right, so it's going to have advantage on your attacking you. Yep. Vorig, or Varig, your turn. And you raged? Or no? He did. He did it last turn. Oh, yeah, sorry, I raged before I threw the javelin, so I've still got that up. All right. 
Who are you asking about rage? Me no, or you're, it's, go. It's your turn. I just want to make sure he's raging. Yeah, I'm raging. All right. Uh, gonna gonna try that athletics again. Okay. There we go. Hey, freak show. You're going nowhere. <laughs> All right. So you got a grapple. Yep. And then five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I've got it grappled. Let's see, I never drew my weapon, so that's good. That's good. I just move around him. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Tarnus. Yes. Um, did you roll his darkness a concentration spell? Yeah. He. Has anyone done damage to him yet? Oh yeah, you did. So yeah, I just did DC, yeah. so it's going to be a DC 10. Alright. Alright, his turn. He is going to swing at the detective. He has advantage, but he's at disadvantage because he's grappled. Uh, no, grapple does not. Okay. Uh, okay, so he takes. Does. So he's going to take three attacks on Detective. He'll take two attacks at the longsword. One. 23 hit. That'll oh, hurt, uh, yeah. Second attack. Misses. Third attack. 20 hit. 20 does it. Alright, so first damage is going to be 5. Okay, so that's 2 just, damage. Just, nope, just right click the 5 and hit apply damage. Why half? Okay. Yep. Apply half damage. Ah, never done that before. Thanks. <clears throat> Because I think you're supposed to round up or whatever. It, it, auto round down. it automatically does it. That's all that matters. And we've just stuck to that. So, yeah, uh, round, rounds down. And then it's going to be a total of one piercing and nine poison damage. Okay. So, yeah, do take all of the. Uh... Yep, poison damage. All right. Sana, your turn. The darkness is gone. No. You cut off. Make it work. And it keeps cutting out. Forward. I say make it work, and then I start moving forward. Okay. Your plan and failed successfully. Then I take my rod that, that was uh, around my belly and take it off and I hit it. Okay. Give me one, yeah, one second. Let's see if he got a... Okay, <clears throat> so two hits. Yeah. And then and give yeah. me one second. Made the first one. Failed the second one. So lots of little negatives. All right. Anything else for you? Oh, that's my turn. Ball, your turn. You saw the darkness disappeared. 
uh, I moved to here. I bonus the action. Go into my lichen form. Okay. Boom, boom, usability. And then I will take out my hand crossbow and shoot. All right. All right, and yeah. that will miss. Uh, and that will be my turn. Bear, you saw the d darkness disappear. Yeah, it's time for stabbing. I can sit on Paul because he's small, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use my um my thing that gives me a twenty foot reach so I can stab it. All right, what is the thing that gives you twenty feet? Lunging attack. Okay. You your controlled bear is more than what? All right. Uh, and, uh, punch. Controlled actor does not have an item. What? So what are you doing? Uh, it's giving me an error for poking it. Um. It says I don't have my halberd anymore. Did I lose it? You click on the halberd of warning, not the halberd. Because you don't have the other one equipped. 19 from that range will miss. Uh, range, in range increases AC? Uh, when you're attacking through your teammate, yes. Oh, stupid teammate. Get out of the way, guys. Um, all right, well, that's all. All right. Because, yeah, it's like range combat. You just add plus two to the AC. All right, so that was Bear Bojo. Cool. So I got my, my fancy arms up. So I have my 15-foot range. Okay. If I move here... I'm in range. Okay. I'm so I make a my attack. That will hit. Oh, I'll roll the damage. And then um, as my bonus action, I spend a key point to flurry of blows. Sixteen will miss. So the first one doesn't hit, um, so I'll make the second. And also, flurry of blows would mean you would only have ten feet re of reach. No, no, no. It's um, the astral arms. They give me an extra five. Oh, um, I might ten feet. I'll move closer then. Yeah. Got the. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, cool. I'm in the range now, and so um, the second one hit. I rolled that, yeah, actually. No, no second one did not hit. That's the, the 16, yeah? Yep. So then I rolled the next flurry attack. That that one's not going to hit either, then. Okay. Um, guess I'll just move horizontally. Okay. So I'm over here, and that's my turn. Alrighty. Detective, what are you doing? Uh, okay. I'll just cover some things. And Meerkat, uh, can, can, you, can you cut out? I just roll. Or not meerkat, tickles. Thank you. All right, cheers. Uh, yeah, last uh, last round, uh, I kind of did my health wrong, so I fixed that during the round. So if anyone saw my health bar go up and down, that's what happened there. And I forgot to apply my rage damage last round. All right, give so, me one second. Fried Dice Paradise, thank you for the raid. Uh, this is the five-year anniversary of me coming to the virtual tabletop. Um, I brought <clears throat> Undermountain to um, 
Roll20 to begin with four years ago. And then this year we decided to make the jump to uh, Foundry. And we have never gone back and we will never go back because Foundry is just way too amazing. <clears throat> and yeah, right now we are in the section of Undermountain called... Uh, we're still in level one because it's the second edition of Under Mountain. We're in the southwest corner of what I call, oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> and names for part of a dungeon? And, <laughs> no, the, the, the name of the, <laughs> the section I, I d lovingly call Legends of the Hidden Temple because the first room that they entered had two statues of the Red Jaguars. The blue barracudas, the we had silver snakes, purple parrots, uh, orange iguanas, and uh, what was the other one? Green monkeys. Green monkeys. My orc character uh, resents that. <laughs> that being said, the community is also a jerk. No, no, wait, no. Fuck. And decided that this is too easy. Don't like the silence. Spicy, you're just an Water asshole. It's coming. You're just an asshole. Uh, I, I love you. I love you and chat, everything. That the higher, the higher the roll, the worse it is for us. So, um, hopefully it's like a fifty. All right. It's ninety. Um. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is that what I remember? All right. So, detective, continue with. It. Thanks again for the raid. All right. Sorry about that. I, we, we got raided. I had to say hi. So what were you finishing, uh, uh, Mr. Detective? Uh, I was just saying it, it did my health wrong, so I fixed that, and I forgot to put plus two rage damage last round. Okay. The attack by hit. I will keep an eye on that going forward. Um, have, I, have I got flanking right now? Yes, you do. Nice. Here comes an attack with the pike. A 16. A 16 uh, you're like stabbing in and they're wrestling so much that you, yeah, you just miss them when uh, you stabbed into the, the foray of the grapple. Damn it. He's basically uh, just hugging two spider legs. <laughs> Okay, that means he's not marked by my ancestral guardians. Uh, actually, I better double check that. Yeah, first creature I attack each turn. So yeah, that's no longer a thing. Okay. But I am my turn. Virag, you still have them grappled. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, by the way, when I raged, I grew. My like my fingers are just they're, they're like bestial claws right now. Okay. So, uh, gonna attack claws. Okay. With advantage. Not because I'm flanking, but because I have the grappler feet. All right. That will indeed hit. that uh, that that'll that'll sting a little bit okay good let's try it again then what's more of a feeling and yes it does yeah all right oh, For that damage that hurt and then no more and then and then 
like, come on, come on, freak show. You come in with me. And I drag him away from the door. All and right. away from detectives. Okay. And uh, let's see, I think that's that's it, yeah. Alrighty. Unless anyone wants me to try to suplex him. All right. So, Drider's actually going to turn to you, and he's going to just—he's going to try to attack you now. Now, he, now, your ancestral guardians. Does it specify that the attack has to land? It's or no just... longer so, so, sorry. It's no longer applied this turn because I didn't hit him. Uh, is it, an, it? No. It's is it on attack or is it on attack hit? I have to hit the creature. Okay. All right. So he's going to go ahead and swing at you twice. First attack. Will hit. Second attack. Will hit. And then he's going to bite down. And that'll miss, which is good. So Sargram, six and five. Uh. All right, and that's his turn, Zana. So does he look bloodied? I uh, know. Not yet, um, but I'm working um... on it. Then I'm going to give him a personal word. I up, I'm going to upcast Dissonant Whispers. Okay. Um, and I will tell him that uh, his mommy never laughed him. Mommy was a drow, so that's probably true. <laughs> You, you, you know what? <laughs> yeah, his mother was a drow, and he's like, and? <laughs> <clears throat> so the, the creature definitely made a save. So go ahead and roll the damage. And he takes half. Anything else for you, Zana? No, but it. All right. Ball, your turn. Yep. Ball just runs so, on up. Yeah. Um. We're gonna bonus action rage. Um. And then we're going to attack, I guess. I mean, you know. Okay, raging. Does he get advantage? Uh, no, because he's not true. Oh, yeah, why not? It's a large uh, If not, I would just it's move a, up one a, more. Yeah, it's yeah. a large I'll just move hard. up one more. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Um, that will hit. Okay. Damage. Let me add the plus two from raging. Uh, yeah, and everything else should be there. But damn it, that's such a low roll. Alrighty. Anything else for me? Uh. Nah. You 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 like scratch at it and then. Oh wait, I would I would I would look at detective and say you should probably walk away from me. Uh, you, you, by the way, as you scratch it, you, you get that lovely memory that your middle finger is still missing. Damn it! But yeah, I would, I would look at detective and I would tell him he should probably walk away from me. I don't like this. No, bad. <laughs> so that's what ninety was. I thought it was slapping chop. So, um, you hear. This clicking, clattering behind you, Bojo. And you just look over your shoulder and you're just like, oh, fuck. As it walks up and begins to just 
stab into you twice and then bite at you. Oh, for fuck's sake. So. That, that I hits. I the finger. What does it get? What does it roll? Oh, wait, these are. Deck? Wait a minute. That is a critical miss. I was like, wait a minute, this doesn't seem good. <clears throat> nah, you can use that one, Tonus. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. Oh. So this one is called Disembowel. We have okay. Lesser Restoration. Disembowel is double damage. So. I might just be dead. We do have lesser restoration, right? You still have a second so, one. So, uh, you take seven damage from the. Yes, that's the double damage. Yeah, that's not as bad. Yeah! You. you, you, you no, no, I mean, like, it's not insta killing me. That, you totally think that, right? Oh, cauterize the ruins again. I mean, I could do that if you want, but I think yeah. it's some internal damage. No, no, no. It was internal, but now it's external. External. <laughs> Zana has three well, second level spell slots, so she has, should have a lesser restoration ready. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I, I, I have lesser restoration. And then we have the bite. Which misses. All right. Alrighty, so that was <clears throat> him. Bear, what you doing? Bear's gonna stab the guy. Okay, stabby, stabby. We all love stabby, stabby. I, I recommend staying at least five feet away. Oh, you're moving forward. Yeah. Alrighty. You actually hit the wall next to him a little bit. Excellent. Uh, then move back and then try. All right. <clears throat> Bojo! How you doing? Fine. Still are, alive. Are, are you? I think so. Yeah, I'd be on... Um, Take five more one. damage as you continue to bleed horribly out because... Okay, now you... I'm not alive. Wait, seriously? I think that will kill me. No, it's only no, five. <laughs> Two. Two. I am nearly dead. Just get to Zana. Yeah, yeah step uh, in the wind if you got it. Yeah. She can disengage. And Don't can trip over people. your entrails, okay? Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay. Uh, well, key, uh, key point to disengage. Because okay. I'll still throw an attack in to help you guys. Um, let me just do the measurement. You do the attack when you reach this spot here. Yeah, yeah you, know, you can advantage. get flanking. Yeah, I have 15 range, so disengage. I can run over here. Make the attack and then skadoodle. With advantage right because of flanking. Yep. That will hit. Alrighty. So I've used uh, 15 of my movement. I've used another 15 to move over here and um, promptly panic. I'll, I'll shout to the Driders in Elvish, because I don't know if any of you guys speak Elvish. Um, if we let you live, can we be friends? <laughs> they they laugh at that. If we pummel you in for dirt, can we be friends? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so that is Bojo. Detective! <laughs> yeah, um, I move here just to avoid the question of, like, if I stab through ball, will there be any cover? Um, mm -hmm. Do I get flanking from here, or do I have to be right next to him? Let me double check flank five e flanking. Cool. I'm gonna have to. No, wait. I'll be fine. If not, I can just break with the attack. You should. Yeah, you do. 
Desert Vantage? Sweet. Alright. And I will attack him. That okay. will hit. Nice. Here comes the damage. And I'm actually going to put in rage damage, so that's pretty good. Uh, normal. What did I roll? I rolled a 5, so I'm going to re-roll that damage with my piercer feet. And I got less damage, so that shows me. <laughs> That's only 9 damage, but he is now marked by my ancestral guardians. Okay. So, like, ghostly bugbears are now harassing him. Uh, uh -huh. Then... Ooh, which way should I move? Oh, are you going to just stay put, or are you going to leave him? Um, I uh, think we're gonna stay put. <laughs> I uh, can't leave. I physically can't. I think, like, just, like, practically, the corridor's good, because they both yeah, can't that's... get in the corridor, and we've got reach, so we can, like, hit over each other. I can, yeah, I'm gonna move. I can pull yeah. the first one in, too. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Yeah. Ooh, you're gonna do that, so I got to there. Ooh. But we are at a dead end, so let's make this quick. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah right, but like, um, if we we can use the first one to prevent the second one getting to us. Or we yep. just pummel yeah. it to death. Right. Virag! Okay, now, is it only halflings, or is it all small creatures can move through uh, large? Without... I think it's all small. Okay, good. So I'm going to go, let's see. Five, seven, eight. 20. Moving him right on top of me would be preferable. 20? Okay, well, I'd pull him back 10 feet. So he would be right in front of me. I'm pulling him through. The... Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, and then he liked my claws. Let's give him some more claws. Go. I rule it away, game master. <laughs> that will hit. And then again. All right. That will not. All right. So this one will go after. Let's see. Let's go after the little guy. Mm, nah, you don't have to. First attack. Misses horribly. That will not miss. Don't tell me if it hits. Don't don't tell me if it hits. Yeah, okay. he, he, he has oh, disadvantage. No, he has disadvantage. No, that's a different guy. I can't use my ability though anymore. He said it hit. Well, like, what does your ability do you exactly? To, it's a reaction. I can decrease it by a hematic die. Don't forget this one has disadvantage because of ghost guardians. Okay. And the bite. Don't tell me if it hits. Just show me. No, the no, die. no. Wouldn't. So click on yours, but don't consume it. I really want to know the wording of it. Yeah, uh, where is it? Uh... Let me just do by the action. There we go. Let's see. Let me... Four that determines whether. <clears throat> yeah. That is horribly worded. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is why I'm like, just don't tell me what happens. <laughs> Alright. But. It'd be, yeah, I'm just gonna use. I'm just gonna amplify it, probably. Just okay. so there's no, like, possibility of. Oh, what if? So, slash roll. 1d4. Okay, so reduce 
all of his attacks by a two. Okay. Does a 21 hit you? No. Not anymore. When did you get another plus one to your AC? Because you had a 21 AC. When I go into my hybrid mode, I get a plus one to AC. I can re-put that in. Features. Well, let me just double check. Did he, did he roll a 21 at disadvantage? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's what I wanted right. to know. Because you have Don't ancestral assume. guardians. Usability. Does it show it there? No, it doesn't. Resilient height. Where does right. it show it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. So, that is Dryder Zana, your turn. Okay. So, Bojo is looking hurt. Bojo has his entrails yeah, coming out. He needs, yeah, he needs a lot of restoration. Do I need to catch him with my hand? Yes. Yes. But next Unless the restoration is a touch spell. I mean, catch him like like leaning back with my feet. No, it's a, like I would <laughs> no. A I, you touch spell. I say his hands. Okay, so okay, I catch him, but I try not to get blood on my hands. Okay. Some people would pay extra for the lesser restoration through the feet. <laughs> Uh also a fans. Okay. <laughs> that lied. Let's see. Anything else for you, Santa? Yeah. That's uh, and then I move back. Okay. Ball, your turn. Ah, uh, time for fun time. I'll just I'll attack with my advantage and then I will walk through him uh, so plus no that has all of it. it's a damage i got added boom that'll miss that'll hit how do you get two attacks uh when i'm in my white info i can use an unarmed strike as a bonus action sorry what hunters i knew sorry plus Features. Two. You plus one to melee for strikes. I see f Feral Might. It says plus one to melee roll damage rolls. Let me just. Andy, let me find it on my character sheet. View, features and trades. Oh, predatory strikes when you use an attack action yeah. with an unarmed. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Um. so normal damage. Oh, sorry. Why does the door keep closing? Because no. it's... Yeah, because it's right on top of it. <laughs> and then I'll just door. move through him. Okay. And I will end my turn. Alrighty. Everyone, DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Barbarians have advantage. Yep. Well, those with danger, danger sense ones do. Yep. Yeah. I get to stab one of them when they come into range. Into range? Why is that? Polar Master, I assume. Uh, the Polar Master. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so everyone. Fair, your turn. Just. Uh, so for the yes. the free stab, um, do that first. The free stab. I just, yeah, because pull uh, on master. So pull, so pull on master. If someone comes into range, I get to stab them for free. Okay. Yes, if they are not pulled. So there was no free attack there. His reach is 15, so he's trying I, to hit the guy in the back. The back? Uh, That's, That's 20 nice. feet away. You have to... Uh, never mind. It sounds like I can't do it, so I'll just normally attack. Yeah, because even if you moved up one, it's one, two, three, four. You have to do the reach. Um, Baron Detective, do you want to move up one and I'll move back one and Susanna can move up one and then we'll all be in range? To hit then. Yeah. Uh, bear, uh, bear misses sure. horribly. Okay. Oh, no. Have you been bear using your bonus back. action? Have you been using your bonus action, Polar Master Attack? Yeah, you're one D four. Great, I'll do that then. <laughs> We're taking a attack with a glaive however you can use a bonus action to make a melee attack so you gotta attack again using its stats but then you only have to so you have that on this yep uh fail uh then move back and that's it okay bojo um so i'll make my uh astral self my unarmed attack the extra reach. They're funneling uh, me by grabbing on. Okay, that'll hit. Cool. That's the damage. Okay. I will do another flurry of blows. And I checked, I do get the 15 foot range because flurry of blows is unarmed strikes, and my unarmed strikes get the extra five from my actual form. Okay. So first one of those. That'll that miss. Hit? That'll miss. Okay. Next one of these. That'll that miss. That doesn't hit, then I assume. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to move. Um, okay, Bear's backing off big time. Slightly uh, concerned. Bojo, I just had an idea. What if you yeah. just, like, ran into the main room, then we can keep on our turns, running in, then running back out? I so, have not enough hit points to do that. Yeah, I've got one key point left, and I've used yeah, my bonus action you... to turn. Yeah, but theoretically, you don't have to, like, remain standing. You can just run back in and hit and run back out. I'm out of self-preservation... On my two hit points, no, not going do to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. Maybe once you get to the order. Yeah, I was gonna. You guys yeah, yeah. want me to suplex it? That, that what is suplexing it do? All right, so uh, that's Bojo, you will, you will... detective. Your turn. Okay, I'm gonna attack because Ball is quite small. I'm gonna hike above Ball. Okay, that stage. that one's fine. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I specified. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll make this reckless. That Three will six. hit. Nice. Damage. Ah, plus two. That's only a four. I'm going to try re-rolling again. See if I can get okay. a four on a D-turn. Add rage again. Hey, got a six. So that's 13 damage, and he is marked by ancestral spirits again. Alrighty. I am then going to back off here. Alrighty. Okay, that's what it does. Frog, your turn. Okay, how's this boy looking? He's not looking good. He's still swinging at you. Oh, uh, then, yeah, don't suplex him yet. Alright. Wait till uh, he dies. Suplex the next guy. Alright. Uh, let's give him some. Let's give him some more claws. Well, actually, yeah, that's a great. If we finish this guy off, we can pin the other one. That'll actually make this. Yeah. So much more yeah. bearable. You, you guys would have advantage against against right. him. So yeah. give me the attack. That will hit. Alrighty. Second. Still up. How about now? Uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> What is this? Slashing? This is uh, natural. It's slashing, though, right? Um, 
Yes, natural slash. Right. Surprised it doesn't count as magic damage like monk fists do. Uh, I have to I have to get a higher level, and then they will count. Oh, as okay. Damage. So they they eventually do that. It's fair. Yeah. Alrighty. Anything else? Oh, let's go. Um. Let's see. I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna step up to this guy. Alrighty. And, and I point out. I, I want you next. <laughs> Zana, your turn. I'm moving the dead body. It's in the way. Okay. Zana, so, I would just focus on uh, healing. This down. Or slapping with tentacles. That's or also. Healing? That's also. I. I mean. I. Yeah. Uh, I can just stay back, right? Because like, I don't. I've got a healing potion. I can drink that next turn if I if we really like are worried. Unless yeah. someone else needs healing. I'm not too worried actually. So, so Fritz, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, so I move up and whip him again. Okay. Whip him. Whip him good. Whip him good. With that plus nine. I'm I'm thinking we rest in the toilet after this because there's All a latch right. on it, so we can then, then camp we'll hit. in there. At Thomas, there's plus nine to hit, and then minus one, and then plus two. But I think I only the rex roll, so it's only a plus nine. So I, it's actually only a twenty, not a twenty-one. Because like I command the rod to attack. So oh it's yeah. Plus nine. What the heck? But somehow it's doing minus one plus two after the plus nine. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's see, ability modifier, blah, 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 blah. So hold on, I got an idea, so. Is it because it's set to ability modifier default? No, the attack. Yeah, it, I don't. I don't know. It's really weird because I'm doing ability modifier, and it, it doesn't let me choose not. So, oh well. So yeah, twenty yeah. would miss. And hold on, I. Okay, so we just subtract one. Yeah, and I just added the subtract w one more, so it just negates that. So go ahead. Alrighty. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, and then I move back again. Okay. <clears throat> Ball, it's your turn. Here, wait. Yeah. I'll, I'll get myself some. Ah, uh, no, I'm scared. <laughs> uh, boom. Uh, inventory. This is an action. I won't use that yet. So, yeah, I'll just unarm strike twice. Okay. Minus that lovely little middle finger. <laughs> Unfortunately. Both those will hit. Oof. Hmm. I don't like I that. I am not rolling the best right now. Anything else for you? Um, so action, bonus action. I moved up a little bit. I guess I'll take an attack of opportunity just so we can't get it on anyone else, and I'll move back. One, two. All right. To here. And misses horribly. Good. All right. Okay, and then I'll end my turn. Oh, go screw Hello, off. darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, your turn. 
Uh, darkness bad. Mess with the concentration again. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll just go in. I don't really want to go in there. It's kind of scary. It's really dark. Um. <laughs> Um, one. Uh, I mean, I'll just keep moving forward until I get through the darkness. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that's one move. Um, I guess I see the guy, so it's time to make a skewer of him. Um, All right. Uh, so that's going to be a uh, rolling for punch. And there, normal. That's pathetic. And then for the um, the extra thing, uh, hey, that that will it. hit. All right, and but, then one, yep, a four. Whoa, three. And then uh, because I hit him, I think I get to do some cool things. Uh, yeah. So I'll make I'll trip him because you can totally trip spiders, right? Um, they have legs. Do it. Yeah, he's got eight legs. He tripped them all at once. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. Uh, so DC 13 strength for a saving throw. God damn it. <laughs> it is prone. He's prone, guys. Let's get him. You have to make a concentration check on darkness. Yeah. How much damage did you do to him? Oh wait, no. I won't ask. Don't tell me. Maybe he can uh, make it. Maybe he'll fail his concentration. Oh, did you add your superiority dice to the second attack? Oh right. Um, he takes more damage than he thought. Um. Nice damage. Four. He's he's fine with this concentration. Are you done? Yes. Thank you. All right. That was Bear Bojo. Uh, I would like to drink a healing potion. All right. Bonus action to pull it out. Action. Or action to pull it out and drink. So you're good. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, nope. I guess I, I might move a little bit. So I've got seven healing. All right. Um, I'll move over there. Detective, yeah. it is up to you. All right, I'm going to feel around the wall. Uh, one, two, three. Did you trip uh, over a move? goblin? <laughs> okay, does that use any movement? No. All no, right. I'm small. Wait, so one, two, three, four, five... And um, unfortunately, if I moved forward, I wouldn't be able to end my t I wouldn't be able to end my turn on that spot. Correct. You should be able to so, squeeze through and go diagonally. So no, you you, you cannot move diagonally. Yes, yeah, the whole around thing around, around corners. Cool. You cannot move diagonally. So I guess to like avoid that problem in the future, I'm just going to run in. And um, did you say you already used this opportunity attack? Yes, it did. Yeah. Right, so uh, wait, no, because it moved the next turn. Okay, uh, then I'm just going to move here and um, end my turn. All right, that's Detective Rog. Get this darkness out of here. Two plex. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to attempt to tackle and grapple. Okay, <laughs> so this is the action to grapple. Yep. Remember, advantage. Yep. Solid, solid. So th this is an athletics, you said? Uh, opposed athletics or dexterity, your pick. But it has to beat mine. All right, so you have him grappled now. All right, good. Let's see, and... Uh, gonna swing around 5, 10, 15, 20 here. 
And uh, you know what? Should I move? Should I move him back, or you guys got room? We're good. Okay, I'll Fine, end my yeah. I'll end my turn right here then. All right. Sana, your turn. I start moving forward. Okay. Like waving with my hand up if I can touch someone, if I can see someone in the darkness. Can I feel so if I touch make feel? You're touching somebody, yes. Can I feel if it's a bug view? Yeah. I'm Terry. So I cast Heroism on him. Be my big man. Alright. So equal to your spellcasting modifier. What is your spellcasting modifier? My charisma is plus three. So plus three. three. And he gets this every round. Three temporary hit points. Okay. That's the ball. Yeah, okay. It's time to kick ass. Um, so, you know, my usual two unarmed strikes. Uh, you, you can't be in the same... You can't finish your turn in the same spot. I didn't plan small, on staying here. Small and immediate. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Because you can move too. diagonally right here. There's no problem there. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do that. I just wanted to be friendly, you know? Uh, That'll hit. Boom. That'll hit. Boom. And one Oop. more. Uh, I ignore that because I don't know what's gonna hit. Uh, and then, uh, all right. Is that minus one because I don't have a middle finger? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> I just noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's one less claw to hit with, so yeah. Yeah. All righty. So that's four barbarians. Because no armor, no armor. Oh, there's a fighter in a group that's actually wearing armor. Yeah, we're going to go attack that. So, Bear McBug misses horribly. Does a 20 hit? Yep. For five. Oh, seriously. <sighs> Seriously. Oh, he just crit himself. With a I bite. My pants. I just crit my pants. So this is piercing. So hey, hopefully this will make him drop the darkness. If it does damage, it has a chance. You... Okay, I don't know how that works. So he bites himself really good in the chest. Puncturing the lung like you do. <laughs> uh, 
goes to bite, dentures fall out, Fang hits him right in the chest. <laughs> yeah. Punctures the lung, starts he to drown, starts to drown in his own, yeah, yeah, just great. Swallows his own tooth, basically, if it comes out. Goes down the wrong, wind, goes down the windpipe. Classic. And, of course, darkness, because I rolled a one on my con concentration. Hey! <clears throat> All right. Bear McBug. The uh, bear casts Halberd on the bad guy. Okay, casting Halberd. And get three temporary hit points. Don't forget advantage. All right, so that'll hit. Uh, the two gets re-rolled. Alright, so uh, hold on. The... Sorry, the, it really makes... Oh, okay. A uh, great weapon master. I know, I know, but it just makes combat really hard to do because you can't re-roll certain dice in the... So, hold on. So you're re-rolling the two. Yes. So that's going to be a total of... Oh, it's just 10. Uh, and then I get the, the back of the spear attack. Okay. That give one. Me old, give me a little front hand back down. Is he still prone, though? Oh, he, he would have... Oh, wait, it's advantage, right? So it, yeah. No, he would have stood up on his turn. I totally missed... The, I was hidden under the door. He would have yeah. stood up. Oh, wait, so he's, he's, he he, if he's grappled, up. his speed is zero, so he can't stand up from prone. Yep. Okay, um, well, right. if he's grappled... Speed is zero, zero, you can't stand up? Yeah, if you're grappled, yeah. just speed is zero. Half just speed to stand up, cost up movement. Prone. One of the best things about grappling. So his attacks would be with disadvantage because he's lying down. Okay. Yeah, that's true as well. Uh, okay, um, I'll, I'll get the advantage dice then. I don't need the I don't need to suplex him then. Oh cool, he's, I got a crit. He's good as is. Um also question was does Great Weapon Master work on the one D four extra attack? Theoretically, yes. Because then that's like a really spicy one D four. so yeah, I'll leave it up to you if I get to reroll one or not, because that's what I got. The reroll, I would say not on because I would say that would be on the big head for the damage, not because because great weapon or for the halberd you're hitting with a butt end, aren't you? Yeah, so it's one plus uh, plus the the mall. So, so what allows you to do the one d four? A polearm master, or Pol polearm, whatever it is. Yeah, polearm master. So how attack action? No, is no, no, no. Regular. Well, isn't polearm master a feat? Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. weapon master yeah. is his fighting style. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So, I oh, I think it's just called great weapon fighting. Great weapon master is like another feat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. I'm using the wrong word. Sorry. All right, that's what I was thinking. Um. I would say no because you're using the butt end and you're not using the blade. Okay, uh, then it's a total of four because it's split okay. strength. Don't forget you get temporary hit points. It's three of uh, They don't okay. stack though. I'll, I'll take them, but is that from it. heroism or something? Yeah. Yes. Each turn you get three temporary hit points. Alright, so that's Bojo. Um, the darkness has dropped now, hasn't it? Yes. So measure some movement. Move 15. Ten feet less. 
still in my 15th foot range, so mm -hmm. I'll smack it with an attack. All right. Guessing that don't hit? Nope. Uh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to click that. Uh, I guess I'll burn my last key point for Flurry of Blows again. Okay. Nope. Doesn't hit. Nope. Doesn't hit. <laughs> um, I will just say in Elvish, you can always surrender <laughs> as I miss with all my attacks. All right. <clears throat> Detective, your turn. Okay. I, I move up here. He's still prone, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, And grappled. And he has to break out. Okay, yeah, he's not getting up. Um, I whisper into his ear, don't worry, I'll solve your murder after I kill you. <laughs> so, uh, 19 hit? Yes. Nice. Uh, that is abysmal damage, so I'm going to use Piercer to reroll that. <laughs> the exact same. Neutral. Just like I planned. And he has now put the ancestral spirits on him. Alright. Virag, your turn. Okay. Uh let's uh, let's uh How does it work first? Not good. Okay, no need to suplex, yeah. No he's he's prone and can't get up. He I don't need the suplex. That's true. Okay, so call? That'll hit. With that. Okay, still up. And then once more with feeling. That you didn't feel good enough on that one. Oh, I got a crick in my back. I can't. I can't bend down. <laughs> you know. Anything else for you? Uh, no. I think. I think I'm good. All right, Zana, your turn. Move over here and start. I command my tentacle ropes. My snake ropes to attack him again. Okay. With advantage, right? Yep. Yeah. The first attack kills him. He had one hit point left. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. oh no. That appears to have been a murder. I propose. I was thinking that the the, uh, the toilet might be a good place to rest because it's got a lockable door. That's true. We so can eat. We got the gorilla meat outside. That's all I'm saying. Well, the, the, the chef too. Does he you know? Right, everyone, uh, everyone, spider leg everyone, shut up! Everyone gets 766 experience. Thank you. 766 plus 58 is 1024. So the total should be that 1024. No, the total should be th four. 37 and 24. Yeah. Oh, See, yeah. Because, you know, when you click on how to create your character sheet, you actually are supposed to select XP like the document says. And being level oh, okay. four, we start with... Yeah, it's, it's basically if you didn't click XP, you stick with Milestone yeah. and you have no experience. Okay, so we'd be we at 374, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. All right. So what are you guys doing? Long resting in the bathroom. No, no, it's time for adventure. Um, also no, 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 no. We need at least, at least a short rest. <laughs> uh, search for the, the, the dead elf people for. Oh, cool oh, stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everyone, go back to the room. Okay. Oh, we get a prize. We 100% completed it. Let's go. Achievement hunters. Who's looking? Are we gonna have to start like uh, tapping every wall to find secret doors, like Wolfenstein style? Th this wasn't well, the secret top door. We haven't yeah. explored yet. Yeah. We haven't explored the top door yet. 
We haven't gone back to the crypt either once we all started wearing our snot rags. That's I thought true. it locked behind us when we... Nah, it's unlocked now. Oh, yeah. Probably, yeah. Oh, I've been forgetting to type this every time I, I use my astral arts. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I mean, your guts have been falling out. It's uh, it's understandable. I've Yeah, I've just been missing every time with them. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so. I'm just trying to find the loot. Oh, let's go. We get loot. Oh, Zana, do you have another cast of Wesso Restoration so I can have my finger back? I mean, you're already cauterized. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Okay. I'll wait for Tynus to do the loot stuff so we can tell him. You have to open the wound yeah. again. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'll just stab it with my other finger. <laughs> I mean, just make you a prosthetic, like get like a bit of spider leg or something. Or I am getting minus one on damage rolls. I cannot accept this. That's why, uh, like, can we make you a prosthetic? Like, you get a bit of spider or one of the drow's fingers and just, like, oh, tape oh, it on. Um, <laughs> hey, how do you guys How do you guys feel about us taking a quick break? Just use the loot. Yeah, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, just... Alright. So... Bye, this... okay. Oh, why? Dude. Oh, wait, I want to hear this first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What the heck is that? I've never even seen that. What did we get? Uh, why? I do a dance on the dead spider's body. Like using it like a stage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is just. I really don't want to give you guys any of this. Give it to us. Tyler. Is it it's junk or is it, or is it too good? It's way too good. Oh, oh. The come on, on come on. We got messed. We I got dunked. We got messed this. up. This is. I'm not also, the same it's a game. monster ma It's monster mash it's characters. Five, uh, yeah. five year can't, we can't really go back down, Tynus. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I have a great sword of life stealing. I don't want it. Someone else can have it. Oh, that's not a Ugh. Yeah, yeah, disgusting. I piss on it. We're weaving it there, Tynus. Um, we do wait, 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 actually, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to, I'm gonna re-roll that now, because do, does anyone in this group have Identify? Uh, nope. I don't think so. <laughs> I'll re-roll that really quick. Because you guys don't know what you got. I don't know what you got till it's gone. So, we have a set of bracers a belt, a wand, and a great axe. Can I put the belt on? Oh, I was going to say that. But can I have the braces then, maybe? Because like, I can't use the yeah. axe. I'm not really a wand kind of guy. So either the belt or the braces. All right. Uh, so everything in this entire thing would need to be attuned. So you would have to spend time to attune. I think we want to take a rest of some time anyway. <clears throat> While we rest, I'll attune to the belt. Um, yeah. Is it a belt of something strength? Can we put the belt around your neck? I'll, I'll take the wand and attune to it too. Uh, yeah, I'm, probably not gonna take, I'm probably not going to take anything, so I'm just going to go get a drink and use the little... <clears throat> right, I'll, yeah, I'll so. attune to the braces, I guess, then. All right. So, Tony, I think the plan is take a short rest in the bathroom uh, and attune um, to stuff. Somebody wanted a long rest. Yeah, it has Which, to be long. Oh. They, it, no. Okay, well, long a lot rest. of people are screwed up, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll take a long rest in the bathroom. I would like to eat the dried up brains as well. Can I, like, roast them? The brains? <laughs> yeah. That? Oh, yeah. 
God. I want to I want to search the two driders and see if I can't harvest some spider legs for later. Hands off my brains. Oh, Zana, we're just taking a we're taking a long rest, so we don't need song of best. Yeah. Meerkat, you're, you're, yeah. Meerkat, you're just you're you're, you're, you're awesome. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh my god, wait, I did too. Uh, also, don't worry about it, you Tony's, don't know about can it. I, can I get my finger back on with lesser restoration? Alright, so who took the axe? The great axe? If no one uh, wants it, I'll take it. Okay, yeah, are you, you and you're, tu you're tuning to it? Uh, no, I'm attuned to three other things, so I'm just taking it. I'll, mm. I'll carry it. Oh, uh, so yeah, I'll take the, the belt. But yeah, I'll carry the great X if no one else All wants right. it. Yeah, go for it. I might have to put this on level two, you guys on level two. Uh, so long rest. I need to figure out. Oh. I need to refigure out loot generation. Yeah. Come back. Did it, I miss because anything? it can't. Uh, no. I'm Do you want the axe, <clears throat> by the way? Yeah. Did you want the great axe? I feel like it's 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 worth finding out what it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, because he can't attune to it. So you, yeah, he can. He has all of his slots open, or filled. Do you have an attunement slot open? I've got two attunement slots. So you can attune to it. That's why I find out it's cursed. Yep, it is. Uh, it's a plus one X called the Berserker X. Oh wait, is it? Can I attune to stuff if I don't have proficiency? You don't have proficiency uh, with martial weapons? Mm, I'm a monk. I have short swords and simple. Oh. You can, it, yeah. Not, you you yeah, can attune to it, yeah. You, but you no longer... Not being proficient means you have disadvantage. No, it's not disadvantage. It's just you can't add his proficiency bonus. Um, no, if you don't have proficiency... I feel like I wouldn't try and attune if I knew right. I could use it, but... I'd... I thought you said you wanted to figure out what it was. That's what... Fish. Oh, I was just saying I've got... We, sh we should as a group, and I've got two slots. Does no one else have attunement slots, then? Uh, no one does. Uh, yeah, I'm using nah, mine I now. I, I have... I'm using all mine. What are the, the braces first? Because that was the thing I wanted to attune to. Are they cursed as well? To one... You can only attune to one thing. Oh, I'll best. do the braces so 100%. Then. He can't even attune to the axe, Tonus, because he's yeah. attuning to the braces. I mean, maybe we can bribe an enemy with it or something. Be like, hey, yeah. don't kill us, yeah. take this axe. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um... If I choose the braces, it's two out of three. You guys all three for three now, then. Yeah, yeah with the belt, I'm three for three. Wait, wait. What was you... the belt? So you have one item that you're attuned to right now, right? Yeah, and I was going to attune to the braces so first. You I have three that. slots. So bracers would bring you to two of three. Axe would be three of three. Yeah, but you I thought... to two items? Yeah. You, no. Yeah. Is that what I was saying? But it, short rest is a, a proficient... Uh, a two minute. One hour. You're taking a long rest. You have eight hours. Oh, it's like a long rest? I Are, thought so. I, yeah, three people said they wanted to take long rest. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. sorry. Now I was yeah. over it. Especially since you're disemboweled, you... You need well, a lot of help. Because um, you... Because, honestly, with lesser restoration, you're no longer bleeding. You, your entrails are still hanging outside your body. Oh, so it didn't fix that. Okay. No. You, healing would close the wound... Take the long rush that only if you're wrong. Not, what are the not braces? I want to find out what the braces are. Yeah, cure wounds. Yeah, that's fine. Closes the wound. Healing word just repairs hit points. Yeah. Um. If I get my finger back on Tonus of Lesser Restoration, do I remove the con drain or is it still there? Uh. Yeah, you would. With remove, the long vest. You would remove it. 
Okay. Thank the heavens. All right. So you don't have proficiency. So you don't add. See. And as long as you remain cursed, you are unwilling to part with the axe, keeping it within reach at all times. You also have disadvantage on attack rolls with any weapons other than that great axe. All, all his unarmed strikes are weapons. weapons. They're not weapons. Ah, uh, this is good. There we go. You There's have disadvantage on attack rolls with weapons. Yep, so yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's fine. Whenever he just has to keep a hostile creature on. damages you and is in your pro uh, the X is in your possession, you must do a f DC 15 wisdom saving throw or go berserk. When you go berserk, you must use your action each round to attack the creature nearest to you with the axe. Oh, so you, so you sort of got what I have. So if you are doing your reach thingy, you would have to attack the person closest to you. Awesome! I love this. Okay. So we found out what the axe is. What are the what is the belt? Belt of Dwarven. Oh the call. I didn't want that. Uh -huh. I wanted I wanted hill giant strength. So it's what, still pretty good. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna wrap it up here and I might put this group on level two somewhere. Fair enough. The, the main reason is Zana has got this really, really bad, bad item. And I don't want you the on wand? level I don't want you on level one with that item. What's the, what's the oh. wand? It's a wand yeah. of fireballs. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, oh. What was I mean, the oh. braces at so, the end? So, uh, bracers of defense, so you get plus two to your AC. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, if you spend all of your charges, you get, what is it, seven charges, so it's 8d6, 15d6 damage. Their no, balls are good. No, f I'm sorry, 14d6 damage. So, let's just... Do, I'm just gonna roll fourteen d six. Slash R. Yeah, I, I almost spent that earlier. So 50, 48, 55. So pretty much, you insta kill everything in the room. Uh, that's a pretty good story reason for why we'd turn up on level two. Like we'd just be like, oh, cool, we got this amazing one. So, so yeah, you, you weird, so like, basically, run challenge. so basically, you 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 went through this entire temple, just like zap, yeah. boom, sleep, zap, boom, sleep, zap. Oh my god. Does Bojo ever try and do something because he's an intellect uh, well, devourer? You, you, you only gave I him one you just mission. Um, I only gave him one mission, and you have to clear this dungeon. Right, cool. Yeah. You won your mission. Congrats, Bojo. By the way, guess what? Yeah. This is one what? of the, the encounters. It's coming. Don't you worry. You'll see it. <laughs> Wait, what's coming? What? <laughs> oh. In this room. How to get through the corridor. <laughs> we'll just kill it. I think we could still take that thing on. Oh, it's a mean to five damage. Like? It's a CR24. You're not killing it. Oh, we I can kill it. have that anyway. <laughs> Legendary yeah. actions. All right. Oh, shit. And this is its lair. Awesome. Again, though, it can't fit down the corridors. We can just run away. No, no, yeah. it, it can squeeze. I didn't even use all of the stuff I have. I didn't even get to use elemental weapon. I'll kick its ass, okay? <laughs> all right, so I will have to figure out these guys because that that's that's like an instant team kill each time. Like it's like yeah, the bard would basically just have it in the pocket and be like, "What? Oh, adventurers! Boom, dead." It's it's not that as well. Like they they'll kill if they kill Bojo, then an intellect devour pops out of his body. But yeah, but yeah, and isn't Bojo a barbarian? No, oh. he's an astral monk. Oh okay. Oh, 
Do so I get the f <clears throat> donuts? I we... have. Yes. Can we call this party or slash encounter bad news bears? <laughs> Boo! You now have disadvantage <laughs> on no. Um. So <laughs> what, yeah, yeah well, we can call them bad news bears. Nice. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to put this on level two. I have to read Dungeon of the Mad Mage because the intellect devourer uh, belongs to somebody on in Undermountain. So yeah, it'll be fun to go up against you. So I will keep you guys at level four. Uh, we'll 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 we'll, we'll figure some stuff out. I'll uh, probably put you because honestly, yeah. You could add them to the random encounter list. No, no, not for level one. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's like it's this like all right. Wipe. It, it's basically if I ever roll a one hundred, it's like and you guys are dead. Moving on to the next game. Yeah. Oh. I put I put him on level two because level two is five uh, level five to six. I still think that's a little. We might be a little strong. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess if because we're intelligent, you could yeah. bonus as enemies who can be negotiated with, maybe. Yeah. I'm chaotic yeah. evil. You're not, not negotiating with Ball. No, yeah. but I mean like the rest of the group. Ball on his own. Okay. Would would TPK. Yeah, ball on his own would take a few, but he wouldn't TPK. Bribus so said we let the goblin off his leash. <laughs> uh... I might just have to retire this group, too. Or take away your shiny toys. No, not my shiny toys. I really gotta... Look how happy... What if, us we just, the, what if we just kept going with the monster group? Yeah, what if... What if... Um, what if we save this and then w the first venture into level two could be the monster mash group? Well, no, but the thing is, <clears throat> so what I've learned from running the game is trying to get you all to have the same day off is not impossible. I have uh, not yeah. been able to get a group to, that has a part two that has six people back together ever again. That's true. They've they've never they've never been able to. Now them. now the only reason why part twos have worked in the past uh, is usually Dead I've killed I've usually killed off four people and there's two people left. Yeah. I I can easily schedule a two person yeah. with that. I just wanted to see. I might end up putting them on level three, honestly, and just save these as a pocket. Save the PDFs after I give them the magic items and then put them on level three, which is like eight to s seven or eight. That that actually seems fair. That seems fair. Yeah. Because especially since we're intelligent and can strategize. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, our AC isn't the highest, like seventeen. Oh, well, honestly, you could probably give the. Let's see. Her, her AC's 12. 14. It's supposed to be 14. Uh, 14. Yeah, it's somehow wrong. Oh, because, because you didn't the do the barrier? Tattoo? Yeah, the barrier tattoo. Alright. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, no. It, it's because... It, 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 don't worry about it. It's fine. Alright. So, I think we're just going to wrap it up here. I, I so <clears throat> I got to mainly it's to it was a lot of this was to start to test the entrance. Wait, is this level two? No. I was like, what? This was to test the entrance to because nobody's really been to this area yet. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to make this less clunky because all this is homebrew. This entire area. Yeah. I might just remove the armband bullshit. Yeah, the armband yeah. thing without an explanation was a little off. Or give an explanation. Yeah. Uh, touch. Put the heads at the beginning. <clears throat> uh, put the heads at the beginning. Uh, 
to say basically like touch your stature you to gain its boon which is just you get an armband I want to know what was in that top hallway which top hallway the one that making the uh, noise yeah <laughs> The grinding I bin. bet it was just like a fucking minecart or some shit. Uh, no. Have you ever seen the Indiana Jones? Oh, it's a fucking boulder? Yep. That, uh, that goes uh, through this entire section. Oh, uh, that's fine. Like, th like, this entire dungeon section, it's there. So, basically, to get, just to even cross over to the other part of this dungeon, you have to go through that stupid zone. And it, and it keeps so teleporting, so it goes from the north to south, and then it starts back at the north and goes to south. Oh, so it just goes up and down the corridor continuously, basically. Well, it goes down and then teleports to the top again and goes down again. Like, so it's just re infinitely resetting yep. the boulder trap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alistair has discovered perpetual motion. <laughs> no, he's just playing with portals. <laughs> Now you're thinking with portals. Uh, yeah. There, what was in that door at the beginning that we that stayed locked even when the iron bands were on? A section that you're not ready for. I think I'm ready for anything. Is that like how you would get here if you were just exploring the dungeon? Yeah. And entrance four? Question mark. Oh. Okay. I know what that is. I won't oh. say anything. That makes mm. sense. Yeah. So what's a random toilet? The, 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 cursed, the cursed random toilet. Don't worry about it. You don't want to know oh, the yeah. answer. Do we, do we prefer, like, new Bojo to old Bojo? Like, has he just become, like, a better bugbear? He's become He's a, like he, new Bojo. He, he has gained four intelligence. So, yes, he is yeah. a better <laughs> bugbear. I think as well I've gained charisma. Yeah. Hey, Bojo, you're looking good. Like, like, I've gone from, like, a negative charisma to just neutral. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to you in that bathroom, but keep it up. <clears throat> so... Well, well now I have an 18 that. constitution, so... Starting today, I am going to reach out to a few new groups, <clears throat> and we're going to start recruiting. Because we need some fresh eyes. So, yeah. one thing that I will probably do for the first batch of people come in and just say no recruiting. Yeah, it's a little complicated. No recruiting, um, and they just play unaffiliated. Let them get used to Undermountain. Or, or no, 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 no. I got it. Even better. Um... Because the guilds are still sanctioned. They cannot recruit. Ah, Ooh. yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tarnis, I think Gliding Eagle, he was going to get one of his characters, like, resurrected. Uh, he still needs to talk to the midget who needs to resurrect... Uh, Basically, yeah. but basically, the way it works, uh, or the way Eagle said he was going to do it, is Eagle said he was going to speak with the dead to see if he wants to come back to life. Basically, it's like, of course, the spirit would not want to be with the dead. Or he can divination or whatever. And after that, he would try to bring him back to life. If he agrees. Cool. As long as they don't wait too long. Don't want, like, a couple of weeks going for buying game and just suddenly they miss their chance. Well, they, uh, he can go through SSR and just keep getting gentle repose. That's fair, too, actually. Because that, I mean, yeah, Shield and Shroud Recovery, <clears throat> they have a morgue, which every day they pretty much just cast that spell. It's like, oh, all these dead bodies in here until they determine... If they want them buried or not. But we, we got a few things we're working on. Now level 2 is going to get finished soon. I'm probably going to simplify this area a little bit. 
Because I'm not liking the airlock. I'm not liking the armband thing. I it, it just like I said, this is a whole homebrew area. I might. <clears throat> what was with the airlock anyway? It's just like it's it's thing, it's literally it's literally like both doors closed. Someone tries to enter the southern door. The harm fills with a harmless steam. After one minute, the door opens again. Have you tried replacing? That's it. Uh, if you wanted to keep the like, the fake trap kind of feel, you could replace it with the old uh, timer that ticks down and that just opens the door. But you can hit a button to extend it. You just get players hitting the button over and over because they don't want it to go down. <laughs> oh, you put an encounter like in this room, so the idea is you get stuck in that room whilst the other guys are fighting stuff. Yeah, you could use it like that to separate people. Oh, yeah. You know, like, I like, like opening like, doors. You know, like when people take a shit, they just get killed by intellect devourers. Yeah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Let's no, I, I love how that trap, because I, I think we've seen bugbears with intellect devourers in them. Actually, no, <laughs> they have. Yeah, actually, you have. Like just in in the meta, like not like us specifically. Yeah. Yeah. But it kind of tracks. <laughs> I gotta read to see where those intellect devourers and who they go to. I think it's level I'm four or we... five that they go down to. Oh, oh damn. Because I'm surprised we took on two riders. Yeah, that was just an asshole thing from. That was spicy that did it. <laughs> I feel like he always rolls an account. We were lucky that we had like the terrain to fight them pretty well. Yeah. Yeah, but if we didn't have the corridor, I think that could have been a wipe. Yeah, yeah definitely. So hold on, I'm just trying to so there were two the two random encounters happened. One, it was the intellect yeah. of ours while he was on the shitter, which is fucking amazing. I love that. Who rolled that one? That was Midget. That Midget right. is just a jerk. Well, I gotta wait until he's playing it because I've got like five k points saved. <laughs> um, I got twenty k, so I'm waiting. So what I need to do is <clears throat> I'm gonna start streaming more regularly. Like, um, I would like Wednesday is gonna be like Wednesday workshop workshop, where I I need to work on some more Undermountain stuff, and then. Uh, I just, that way you guys have access to get more points. Yeah. Um, by the way, you all are just going to get... <clears throat> I think I'm just going to give you all 100 points because you played today. I know it's not towards the guild, but I like to reward people who play. 100 and, guild points. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> yes. Um... But yeah, I got, I got a few things I'm working on. I got some revisions to the guild system. Uh, whereas, <clears throat> in order to, So, I think in a little bit... Uh, because the, the custom backgrounds aren't making sense right now. Because <clears throat> they would have to have grown up in the guild to have that background, right? So mm -hmm. what I'm thinking is recruitment cost is double for that class if they want to say they they basically grew up in that guild or were trained by that guild. Mm -hmm. Because the guild spent the resources to train that person. Yeah. I guess then we'd have to make sure that they're more valuable than standard backgrounds. Uh, which I, they probably, which they probably are. Most of them are because they give them that extra skill versatility. Yeah. Uh, what the one guild that I do want created still, I don't think it's gonna ever happen <clears throat> because uh, Peanut up and disappeared and he hasn't played since. Which happens. Real life happens. Um, but yeah. I, I got a lot of things I want to work out. 
My biggest thing okay, is well, I have to write up these runes. What's the guild Peanut really was going to make? Yeah. Uh, get, the, Peanut was going to make a hippie commune for wizards. And uh, <clears throat> so the bonus that that one would get is they get an extra spell added uh, to their spell book. So that they can prepare for more. But there's a downside. If they come from that guild, they can only have spells in their spell book that that guild has. Oh, it's just like a communal, yeah, spell book, basically. So, say they go in, and the guild, <clears throat> that wizard comes out, and he found, like, three scrolls. He, he needs to, like, if there's loot split, he needs to focus on, I want these scrolls. My guild wants to copy these down and research them. So, the guild would have first crack at buying the scroll. It, it would, uh, they get a discount because it's the guild system. But they would basically get to add spells. So if they found spell books in Undermountain, they could copy, spend money, copy the spells, and uh, enhance their repertoire of spells. And meta, there is the library of Undermountain. And the library of Undermountain has spell books of. Alistair Blackcloak. So, like, I thought that so the ultimate guild's goal is to get to the library then? Yes. Which I need to redo the library and all that fun stuff. Uh, but. Oh, wait, Sargram! Oh, wait, you never went into the library. Only he went into the library. So they. So no other guild would know about it, really. So, yeah. And I need to recreate that. that how to open that door anyway. <clears throat> and nobody... So basically... Uh, basically nobody knows that the library exists right now. <clears throat> and I need to figure out how to reopen the door. Uh, all of the guilds on uh, a Discord still active? Um, Let's see. A Krogue is more backseat. Uh, but they are still active. Marcus, hold on, I'm gonna go up. Lost Airs is always active. Memento Mori is okay. active. Arcane Scribers, a Krog is here and does message, so they're active. I haven't heard from Eloquent Ape lately. They're the Smirking Cauldron. Southwick is here, so yes, they are active. Yeah. Uh, Victa Collectors no longer exists. Uh, voice of Undermountain is Fritz, and he is active. Um, Hello. W Westwood Salvaging uh, is Torig. Always active. He is always active. <laughs> always wheeling and dealing. Eagle is active. Uh, prophets are active, but inactive at the same time. They're, they're the low-key guild of the group. They're probably going to be more inclusive than anything, uh, especially with the backstab right now. Uh, and with the, so, <clears throat> and then Holy Sanctum, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen quote unquote Becky in a while, but I, I, I just haven't seen Apostle much. Apostle. Uh, so w was from a different stream, uh, and they came over here after my guild system kicked off, uh, and they wanted to go, but then the stream that he came from instituted a new system, and he's, I think he's liking that system a little bit, so. And then <laughs> Mark is just awesome. Mark is always active. Yeah. Mark is low-key active as well. He only recruits people he he actually likes. It's like it's like oh if it's like, if you're interested, 
Like, so at each recruitment one, I now post what you guys want to play. And he, he'll, they actually, like, the guilds actually look like, ah. So, I think the way it should be now, because <clears throat> right now we're in a lull. It's summer. We're in a lull season. It's going to be a while before the next group goes out. I want to fix the recruitment system a little bit. Uh, cause I don't want, to, I don't want people to barrage newer players. Um, so we got to figure out a way to recruit. And it, so basically I think one day we're just going to have, uh, I don't know. I would say a guild round table. We all just sit down. Every guild sends a representative or even people who aren't guild leaders can have say about what goes on because i just want to have a good conversation i want to feel get a feel for how the guild system is for everyone um and that and then because I, I got a lot of work to do in undermountain too uh i've been, yeah. i've been a little too ambitious on a lot of my projects for undermountain so i gotta i gotta tone back some but I also want to check how everyone is feeling. So we got we got some things to do. Uh, I might do. Uh, so what I could do is. That's a holiday weekend. So what I'm going to say is the 10th. Let's try to have a meeting on the 10th, a Saturday. Uh, and I want as many people here as possible. Uh, it's going to be streamed. It's going to be a discussion. Uh, and then the, I believe the 17th is going to be, so, <coughs> is the next game. So we'll have a meeting. We'll talk about shit. We'll get shit done. I'll probably run some duo games. In the meantime, uh, like the next duo game, oh, shit, <clears throat> that's July 4th. It's going to be hard to find. I mean, well, we have some non-American people like Fritz and that. So we might have another duo game on the third. Because the fourth, I'm going to go attempt to blow my fingers off. Uh, <laughs> and then the 10th, I think we should have the meeting. And then probably the 18th will be the uh, the the newer players <clears throat> with the new recruitment system. Yeah. And I have I have ideas. I I. Because okay. what I'm thinking is, uh, the guild system, like yeah. the last one was hit hard. The guilds went into like turtle mode for like a few months. Uh, they were not actively recruiting. Uh, if they were actively recruiting, they were spending the bonus, like the double cost, to build the recruits, train the recruits. Uh, and if they did train the recruits, the recruits are going to be younger. So, just to have that custom background. I don't know. I want to have I want to have a roundtable. I'm going to make a document. Uh, when everyone's here, I'm going to share the document to be like, okay, this is the roundtable. <clears throat> I'm going to go through. I'm going to ask all the guild leaders, hey, what's up? Uh, wh what do you want to do with this? Uh, how do you feel about this? These are the changes I'm making. So on and so forth. All while <clears throat> I'm already actively recruiting new players. I want to change how the recruitment system works a little bit so you guys aren't bombarding newer players, all that fun stuff. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Regarding the Holy Sanctum, if Apostle um, is, like, moving systems, I would love to take that one over. <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> you can uh, reach out to Apostle. Apostle, yeah. We have a Discord. Uh, <laughs> I figured as much. I'm actually disappointed I'm not part of that. But um, 
<laughs> be like, hey, if <clears throat> you're you're distracted, uh, I can take over as lead if wanted. <clears throat> and, yeah. And so forth. And just give give them an out. Because all people yeah. do, giving somebody an out is a g- great option. So bring that up. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and send an up, um, announcement to everyone. Hey, guild town hall meeting, blah, 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 blah. And we're, we're just going to hash out some stuff. Because I, I you, you know me, I love getting feedback from everyone. So that being said... We're going to raid the person that stole Apostle from us. Uh, Dean Doodle. Um, I got the guild system idea from Dean Doodle Twitch. Um, now, I got the, the idea of guilds from him. And I got the way you can get points from him. The entire rest of this recruitment pool system... All that stuff is all me. So they laid the base of how to get points and the idea of a guild system. But everything else, like custom backgrounds to re- pulling from a recruitment pool, is all on me. So we're going to go ahead and recruit uh, Raid, Dean Doodle Twitch. Uh, say hi. Tell them. Uh, King DDD, that's what they, I'm, I'm, I'm called there, uh, because they, Death Dice and Dungeons is a mouthful, is, uh, says hi, and, uh, tells, yeah. But, uh, you guys, again, thank you all for playing. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, thanks for helping me. I, I need, like I said, I'm trying to get better at a few things. I'm trying to... I'm not even going to lie, Matt Mercer combat, so i got to learn how to do combat a little bit better. Uh, but I've really got to figure out how to do the loot system a little bit better because you guys pulling four rares out of that, I'm like, no, that's just really powerful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit raid now, and you guys all have a wonderful night.